Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Book Staples channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. We have such a special day, dude. Oh, I can't wait to play some poker today. So the tournaments we have going on, you're aware of them. Uh, 215 Big Sunday, Super 320, Super 215, 109 Sunday Party. Everything we can find on Party Poker this afternoon we're going to be playing. Very much looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to try and win something. Uh, also on the side, of course, is Master Sunday. If you're a golf fan, if you're a golfer, it's a special day. So I got that up on the side for myself to sweat, which is going to be a lot of fun. I actually played some live poker last night um, for the first, first time in about a year, I think, since I've played. It's been about a year. <clears throat> Late night, um, played a $400 freeze up at Playground, and I busted twice, but I think it went pretty well, honestly, in general. Uh, both times that I busted, I got it in uh, really well, and just kind of got unlucky. Um, nines against Jack-6, all in, and then Queen-Jack against Ace-King on a Queen-9-3 board. Um, so really nothing to sort of be done there and, uh, was the end of the journey, but it was fun to get out there and play again. Um, the flight, it's pretty late. I finished at about 2.30 and I was just before the money bubble. Um, so yeah, a later start to the day for that reason, but, uh, I don't know. Looking forward to today. So let's, let's get in something here. Uh, I've already sort of set up. Where stuff is gonna go, I just gotta slot it in on my screen, so give me a sec to do that. PSR in the building, what's up man? On Twitch, good to see you in the house, PSR. Victorious Bakunas on YouTube as well, welcome, what's up? Um, welcome to the stream. Okay, so here is the 215. Going in. Next up is going to be the 320. I'm going to put the 320 over here. It's a little late. It's not a great idea to late reg this, but uh, since it's like our biggest knockout and I'm starting a little late, I just want to fire it because I am team party poker, you know? So we'll fire it for that reason. All right, Super 215 is going in up here on table two. Hey, we got some hype on Twitch. It's B car. Dropping that 78 month resub, Slabian. Thank you for the resub, Rebecca. I love you and appreciate you. And uh, also, I miss Rebecca because I played poker yesterday. I didn't get to spend as much time with Rebecca as I normally do. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Uh, okay. 109 Sunday party going in as well on table three. Trebian. Absolute Trebian, daddy. Okay. So I think we're happy here. Uh, we have our four tournaments. Cameron Smith has eagled the second to get to minus three. He's in contention now. That's exciting. Man, this is such a good leaderboard, dude. This is literally such a good leaderboard. Uh, some comments on Facebook. Bryson says Mark DeVore. Scheffler will be hard to beat, but rooting for Homa. Yeah, see, honestly, I would love to see all those guys at the top win. Which is what makes it really interesting to me, right? Like Scheffler, Homa, Mur Murikawa, Murikawa, Murikawa. Um, Aberg, I don't really know much about, DeChambeau, and now Smith is like back in contention as well. Like all of those players would be really interesting. So it's going to be such a, such a great round of golf. I'm looking forward to it, man. Really tough betting against the dad to beat. There it is. There it is. One homo, but Scheffler is the safe bet. Yeah, there you go. Uh, King Deuce of Diamonds, I'm going to check. I'm not planning to uh, anime, no. But I am looking forward to getting outside a bunch this summer in Montreal. It's uh, tis the season, you know? So you'll see me on the canal. Thank you, Alex O'Donnell, for the kind words. Let's go. Wishing you a lot of run good this evening, dude. Thanks, man. Thank you. All right. So we're in action. We have a pair of kings here. 
Morikawa for the win, says Brad Lucas. Certainly could be. Uh, let's call here on the turn. Rivers is 10. Not so good. Kings and 10s with the deuce kicker. Probably not the best hand if we see a bet. Ooh. Wow, a bet of 47.50. Owned. Um, absolutely owned. <laughs> they bet the perfect size to where I need to think about this. What do we beat? Queen Jack. Yeah, I'm just going to fold, I think. I'm just going to fold. Mm, maybe you can open Queen 6 suited here. It's close. What's up, Unknown Elite? How's it going, Jamie? Good weekend. I had a cash game last night. Uh, three pounds, seven deuce game. Dare you to raise it pre on the big stage. Wow. You want me to raise seven deuce? If I get the right spot. If I get the right spot, I will. And I think this is close as to whether we want to open this queen six suited or not. We're going to give it a go here. I'm just going to add my buy-ins. 320 plus 215. Plus 215 plus 109. Sweet. Evening from Birmingham, UK. Oh, and congrats to Spurs. They only let four in, wasn't it? Not a great game from the Spurs. I'll give you that. Not a great game. And um, a kind of a weird result today, actually. Arsenal losing is pretty much always a good thing in that they are the worst. Gotta hate Arsenal. But uh, Aston Villa won, which puts them ahead on goal differential and puts us tied in points. So <clears throat> Hopefully we'll be able to get top five um, into the Champions League, but it's a little nerve-wracking. Now, we have a very difficult spot here right away with the sevens because we have 21 blinds uh, and it's raised under the goal and one and a call. So honestly, everything's on the table here. I think fold, jam, and call are all options. I don't think we're going to make money shoving. I think it's too much risk. So can we make money calling? It's really tough to get to showdown with sevens in this position. Uh, I'm going to fold. I don't know, man. Like, it's not it's not a fun fold, but this is all right. Yeah, I don't know. It's a really tough one with the sevens here, I think. Really very much on the edge. Big Ben in the building. What's up, brother? Good to see you in the house, Big Ben. What's happening? Managed to turn my $5 ticket from your home game into a 109. Let's go. 92 da. Get it done out there, brother. Win the tournament. Are you playing in the, the 109 party today? Good luck with it, my friend. Good luck. Shoffley for birdie on one. Don't count out Shoffley, dude. Shoffley could get a little hot on the front as well and uh, join the mix. Bounty in play here. I'm going to go for a raise and hope that people don't notice. Uh, obviously, our hand sucks, but to win a $25 bounty is really valuable, so... Uh, come on, Hoygaard, Denmark. There we go. What's up, Kim? Cam Smith is a sleeper. Absolutely is a sleeper. Multiple-time major winner. Uh, and a lead for basically pot. I'll just fold. Bullock from Belgium says Raphael Dumont. Dumont. Uh, thank you, my friend. 
Merci, mon ami. Clean and comfortable. Let's go. Well, how did Tiger do out there, by the way? I didn't watch. We're getting uh, some highlights right now, I think, actually. Curl it in there. Oh. Four or five of diamonds. We're going to call in the big blind. It's a pretty looking hand. I don't like shoving all in. We're not quite deep enough to squeeze. I think we can call. We flop bottom pair, which is a bit tough to play here. Honestly, the seven deuce game was savage. People were betting 15, 18 pounds and winning with it. Couldn't shove free was our only rule. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it is an interesting game. I think what happens with the seven deuce game is that you, uh, it becomes your bluffs, right? Like in most scenarios when you need 16 combinations of bluffs or whatever, uh, it's seven deuce, right? Um, and then your value hands are the same value hands. And then also the blockers. When you have a seven or a deuce, it significantly weights people towards value. So it's a, it's a fun game. Yeah, so we have to fold here. Definitely three whips we have to fold. Even heads up, we're not loving this scenario. Probably should bluff here, right? Probably. King eight. Kind of our board. Got both Chef, uh, Scheffler and Homa. 340 pounds if Scheffler wins. 450 if Homa wins. It's a good spot for you. See, Homa is a player... Both Scheffler and Homa are players that inspire confidence, in my mind, anyways. Um, I don't know if that's just their demeanor or what, but... Good luck, man. Thank you, Pat Burns. Thanks, bro. Good luck. It's my birthday today. Let's go, Daniel Ocon. Happy birthday, brother. Today, sending you good vibes from Miami. Oof. Enjoy the heat. Have the greatest time, brother. Happy birthday. Uh, fold. It's a two and a half X here. Just fold. Pocket sevens took me out last night at the casino against my set of sixes. Caught flush on the river. No. No. I, uh, okay, we're going to raise up King 10 here. All right, we have a message en français. Oh, this is a long message in French, and I think it's spam as well because it's got a phone number at the end. It is some sort of spam message, man. I don't know what the deal is with uh, Aziz, but I I'm not <laughs> I ain't reading all that, bro. Sorry. Bienvenue, mon ami. Pas bon. Morikawa also has a chance. Totally does. Let's go, Dottie. Stuart Misner. Let's go. Look at us flopping the nuts. 
flopping the absolute nuts. Why'd you fold sevens? No gamble, no further fam. Just a bad spot, man. Just a bad spot with the sevens. Any advice for MTT for five X five hundred player getting down to fourteen? Usually go out if I make it to the final table short stacked. Um things flip a little bit when you're late in the tournament and that people start to get a little nervous. Uh, they might have been a little gamblier early in the tournament, and they can go the other way where they tighten up at the end. So I think just pay attention to how other people are playing. Uh, and also, payout pressure is a thing that's fairly relevant uh, when you're down to 14, right? Because it's not just like if you win all the chips, you win all the money in the tournament. There's pay jumps, right? Um, so you kind of want to eliminate some of your all-in risk, right? Like, you don't want to take some all-ins where you have a 5% edge um, because if you hit your 45%, you're out, you know, and your stack might be worth more than that. So you have to kind of uh, consider the risk and ease back on the risk a little bit and vice versa if you're playing against opponents that, um, you know, you think are strong enough to perceive that. This is probably a four better call, by the way. If if you're playing against opponents that can perceive that uh, risk, you can put pressure on them, right? <clears throat> so be aware of risk, pay attention to your opponents, and at the end of the day, it's just cards and continue on. But it's really normal to bust out in the final 18, right? Like that's, uh, you're playing tournaments against, you know, like-minded individuals. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not so good. Um, but, you know, if there's 100 people in the tournament, you're only going to final table 1 in 10 times if you're an average player. Or, or like, 1 in 11 times, depending on how many go to the final table. Um, and you're going to bust in the final two tables twice as often as you're going to final table. Um, so it's not abnormal. It's a pattern that people mention to me all the time in DMs. And on the stream, it's like, hey, I seem to be able to do really well, but I crash out just before the final table. It's a very common message to get, and I think it's just selective perception in that uh, people start to think they're doing something wrong at that stage. It's like, no, that's just, just how it works, man, you know? What's up, Mikael Vanderham? Welcome. Uh, that guy's spamming. I got I to gotta get him out of there on Facebook. Uh, welcome, man. Watching bullets get cracked by seven deuce was funny. Glad it was a friendly cash game with friends. Seeing someone lose a hundred pound and then have to pass three pound after uh, I was in tears. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the best stuff, man. It's pretty fun. What happened to Spurs yesterday? Yeah, I'm not sure. Tough game to watch for sure. Not super pumped that I woke up at 7.30 a.m. to watch that uh, demolishment. So, yeah. I don't know, man. All in with the king queen here. And we win. No call. That's fine. Fleetwood for par on four. Rolls it in. Minus two. Within striking distance. Anything can happen on the back nine, you know? Uh, let's raise it up to 2100. Is cool. Hey, good luck, my man. Thank you. Juke Bone on Facebook. Thanks. Thank you for the good luck, Adam Poppy on YouTube. All right, let's get it, team. Oh, Cam Young with the bogey on four. Okay. Shoffley. 
Great shot. Feeding towards the hole. It's got a putt at it. Oh, we got some spammers on Facebook. I've never had this happen before. It's okay. So we're betting with the Kings here. We're going to bet with the 810 as well. Nine is, eh. uh, we might have the worst hand. We might have the best hand. Um, I think check is the way. And we win, which is cool. Uh, Kings here, we see a jack on the end. I think too thin to value bets. I would say it's gonna be tough to get a call from one pair of hands on that run out. Like even queen six top pair there knows it's bluff catching. Um, and sometimes they're just gonna have two pairs, right? Like we're gonna bet into better hands and lose a bunch of money. So it's either a bet fold to raise or just to check back. <sighs> late night, man, late night. Enjoy the session, Jamie. Thank you, Thomas Earl on Facebook. Been a while since I've seen you live. Glad to see you. You're doing well. What's up, Stefan Boykin? Cheers. Yeah, things are good. Looking forward to the day. Lots of poker. Played Friday, played last night, playing today, playing tonight, playing tomorrow. A uh, lot of poker going on right now. Enjoying it. And just really excited for Master Sunday. It's such a special event, so... Open the nines, three bet, and a call. I think we get to call here. We definitely get to call now. Four ways to the flop. 10 3 3. Kind of a tough one to play, right? Kind of a tough one to play here. Because we have the under pair. If they have a 10 or better, we're drawing to two outs. If we have the best hand, it sucks to fold the best hand. So let's see how this plays out. What's up, Demon? On, uh, on Twitch. What's up? Welcome. Damon or Damon74? Could be Damon. Greetings from Peru, dude. What's up, Jordan? Ponce Rosales. Welcome. Half pot and a call. Definitely an easy fold now. As soon as we have, like, more than one person in the pot, we're out of the way. Even heads up, it's tough. But multi-way, it's not very difficult anymore. Just a fold. Just got to check the stream to make sure I'm good against you. Good luck. The John JC, what's up? Good luck, man. Where are we playing? I'm trying to see. Good luck to you, man. Uh, my friend started having huge hair fall after starting playing poker. Is that normal? I don't know. It might not be related to poker. 
pretty likely it's not related to poker, right? Could be age, could be other things. Uh, so I think it's pretty unlikely to uh, to be related to poker, man. Uh, what's up, Rally Imperio? What's up, Jamie? One of your supporters here from the Philippines. Good luck, brother. Thank you very much, Rally Imperio. What's your biggest win? Asked Dantas Malest, uh, Mesletes on Facebook. 105,000 is my biggest ever tournament score. 105k. Don't think we can shovel in here. They're going to call really wide with the bounty, so... Florian, thanks for the good luck. Yeah, sorry anyone on Facebook. It seems I've got some some spammers coming into the chat. I'm just banning them as soon as I can, but might make the chat a little annoying. You can always check me out on Twitch and YouTube as well, of course, uh, if you want a different chat experience. I'm a huge fan playing the Venom at 12.5k milli day one right now. Good luck today, man. Cheers, dude. You too. That's a big tourney. Good luck. And win it. Why not? Could be you. Is this DeChambeau on two? On three? Who was that? I think it was Bryson. Bogey? Looks like a bogey. Bogey one, par two. Mm, it's a par five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, four three suited. Bryson is such a polarizing character. Like I've seen some of his content on YouTube, and some of it is frustrating to me. But then some of it I find uh, I find endearing as well. It's I'm I'm really split on the guy. Sometimes I find it frustrating. Sometimes I'm totally in. So. So yeah. Um, fold on 20 blinds. What do you think of the game analysis bottom party poker? I think it's really useful. Yeah, especially if you're trying to assess like how your game is. I think it's a really useful skill in that it's it's measuring your game against theoretical game, right? So I think it's a really good thing to use. Uh, going to squeeze here. Not going to stack off against real JMP. Like if they shove, we'll just fold. Um, but I think it's a fine spot to squeeze. Are we running hot or cold? Um, well, we won the 109 Sunday party like two weeks ago, so I don't think we can say cold, you know? I ran kind of cold last night at a live tournament I played, but um, next to that, feel okay. It goes check, check. Uh, do we want to bluff here? Probably not. I think we have better bluff candidates. We just call flop, getting one to uh, five to one. Ooh, this is uh. Just wondering. I mean, so king eight suited call of the squeezes. I don't think it's good. Um, they'd have to make some pretty wide assumptions against bounties, and against my big blind squeezing range. It's definitely too wide, I think, theoretically, even with bounties covering both opponents. Huh. Okay. All right. You fancy the carnival? Pretty good payout for party. Oh, the the twenty two carnival. Um, when I have table space, the thing is like I've got a bunch of like thirty three fifty fives, one hundred nines that I can play as well, right? So usually I just play the bigger buy ins. 
because I think it's going to have more of an effect on how much money I make as opposed to the total guarantee. Uh, but sometimes I have table space for the carnival and I play it. I played it a few times. <laughs> it's a great tournament, man. It's a really good 22. What's up, D Sellers? 778. How's it going? Welcome, welcome on Twitch. Good luck, Jamie. Hope you get a big score. Thank you, Fly Hire. Me too, man. Me too. Good luck, bro. I start in 10 minutes, says Alex Addy Oz. Good luck, you, in 10. Scheffler says uh, Lawton Burnett. Good luck, get it done. Thank you, Brandon Harmon. It's two pair, not two pairs. It's both, Josh. It's both. It's both. Uh, what app you play on? This is Party Poker, man. Aberg says Patricio. Definitely an underdog. Not a guy I know anything about. Um, he's probably not going to get a lot of coverage today based on the European origin in this uh, Masters tournament, right? be interesting to see. Hope for a final table hype. Me too. Uh, just call me Donnie. Very nice win. Uh, very nice. Thank you, Donnie. I'll try and remember that. I might forget, and don't take it personally, Donnie, but I will try. That's a full queen jack here. We don't have enough fold equity to shove queen jack. In a non-bouncy, we would go all in here, like all the time, but back up to the ace-10. <clears throat> Too thin to value bet. You golf, yeah, man. Uh, I used to golf a lot growing up, and then I've played periodically since, but golf was my main kind of pursuit when I was a young man, like age 10 to 18 or so. Aberg says Adam Stride. There you go. Good luck today, Brandon Sheath. Thanks, man. Uh, Zazie Foon Hadi. Good luck for today. Thank you, Zazie. Good to see you in the Facebook streets. Need some coffee, Jamie. I'm not actually tired. It's just a uh, tree pollen, actually. My throat is all low. All puffy and stuff. Um, but I probably will grab some anyways next break, which is in three minutes. We'll probably grab some anyways. Certainly not going to hurt. Every time I see you, I'm having a stupid smile on my face. Oh, thanks. You're a legend, Jamie. Thanks for the content, bro. Cheers, man. Anytime. Anytime I'm online, you're welcome. My dog is actually really struggling with uh, tree pollen right now. His, one, one of his eyes is like, it's not permanently closed, but like when he's resting, it's just closed. Um... And the other eye is like a little gunky as well. It's just, I think we got a tree pollen explosion going on right now in Montreal, and it's uh, affecting both of us a bit. But A guy that I know was part of the Bad Beat Jackpot at Playground a few months ago. Oh, sick. Nice, man. Uh, yeah, I want to check out today if I have time. I want to go up to the third floor tonight and uh, and see the cash game area because I just went to the tournaments last night. So uh, it'd be good to see. Call a third pair in the open ender. Uh, some percentage of the time we have the best hand, right? It's not a high percentage, but sometimes. The thing is, when we don't have the best hand, we're, we're also able to hit some straights occasionally. So I think, considering the flop goes check, 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 we get to call the turn. But uh, it's not like a slam dunk spot. Nine on the river. Uh... 
Um, I was thinking about, like, can I raise here and bluff? Probably not. Someone's teeing off on 10 here. McElroy on 10. Nine back. Big power draw again around the corner. Go. Go. It's in the first cut. Open the ace for suited. Okay, so on this break, I'm going to play you guys uh, the recent 109 highlight. Uh, just for five minutes, I'm going to grab some coffee, grab a drink, and, uh, and we continue on our journey today, okay? So thanks all so much for watching. I'm not going to bet this three ways. Half pot's too big. But uh, long day of poker ahead, okay? Poker Staples on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Back in just a few minutes. You can use in these spots. When you're like deep in a large field tournament, people will start going small with their bluffs when they will not do that earlier in the tournament. But they will in deep spots like this. Uh, so you can't read too much into sizing where it's like, oh, no one ever bluffs like that. They do sometimes. And we have lost Patty M97. You know what that means, chat. Final table height of the 109 Sunday party. Coming into the final table, two of nine with a beautiful 1,092 of bounties. We're going to call it 1,100. 750 cash. Now, the payouts are in the bottom left-hand corner of the stream. It's approximately 7,000 for first and for second. Why is that? Because it's a bounty tournament. So typically, when you add all the bounties by the end, it's about double second place for first. So it's about 14,000 for the win, depending on how well you do in bounties, how many bounties have exited the tournaments, etc. cetera. Um, it's usually about second. It could be up, up, about 2x. It could be as low as about 1.8x and as high as 3x, um, depending on how much you crush. So, so that's the situation in the bounty tournament. We're expecting 14,000 for the win. We've got a real chance at it here. Uh, ship leader is two to our left. That's a pretty unlucky draw, having them two to my left, but... At the end of the day, we need every chip, so uh, we're going to try and get every chip. Good luck us. Bounties available. 642 bounty. This looks really nice. 500 bounty. This looks really nice. Uh, this 584 is ungettable. Where's the 300 bounty? Oh, it's a 500 bounty now because they just chipped up. Okay. So let's get it all, man. Two and nine. Good luck us. We raise. With a beautiful, gorgeous 910 suited. It's not actually like a slam dunk in most of the time. With short stack depths. Even at deep stack depths, it's a hand that can make dominated straight sometimes, make middling flushes, but it's enough to open here. Uh, 8 6 4 with two hearts. This is a board that's typically pretty good for them. In our hand, we have 10 high. Um, my first thought is I want to bet here because I have 10 high. Uh, if we're going to check back, we probably want a heart in our hand. Uh, nine ten of hearts, nine jack of hearts. Uh, oh, just a single heart is actually kind of rare for what it's worth. Yeah, no, I'm still going to bet. The The thing that's nice about this is when they have an eight, six, or four, I don't think they want to check slam it in here, in which case we're going to get two, three, two free cards often, which is like two free looks at over cards. Uh, we see a king. With ICM, we should pretty much just like put the aggressive action on here. They really don't want to call down and bust in ninth with all these other short stacks, like hero calling with a crappy six. When we have like over pairs in a range, we have king x in a range. That's a really bad river. It definitely doesn't improve us. But again, I'm kind of just defaulting to like, bro, they do not want to call off here and die in ninth. Uh, and if we have a good bluff hand, it's this one. We unblock hearts now. So they're going to fold ace high hearts, I think. Yeah, we're going to go for the bluff. They're never going to fold Trip Kings, I'll tell you that. Uh, kind of unfortunate. I like it. I think Theory would definitely approve the Triple Barrel here. It does knock us down to 15 million now, so still in second place, but like a less awesome second place. Onwards, we roll. Beautiful hand. A difficult hand to play against the bigger stacks. 
Uh, difficult hand to play against this opponent. It's just a raise fold, honestly. Against Lucky Luciano, it's very difficult. Against this opponent, I think it's pretty straightforward. It's a call. Um, if one of the shorter stacks squeezes and they fold, we call. If they squeeze and they call, we fold. If we go post flop, that's fine. Let's just hit a set. Or, you know, find a way to get to showdown. This is a little dangerous, right? 5-5-4. Five, five, Neither of us interact with this unless they have ace-5 suited, which would be brutal. Uh, but we want to control the size of the pot here. I think check-check is pretty decent. I'm going to check-check here. There's just not a ton of upside of trying to play big pots against early position here. We're not going to get multiple streets from, like, ace-high. And from pairs, we beat a few and we lose to a few. Want to protect our stack. Long tank and a check. Uh, I think I'm going to bet. Like, part of me wants to check again, honestly, but... Uh, and I think in theory we would check again sometimes, but uh, I'm going to bet. Uh, this is why I want to check again, is to protect against this, but we call. Uh, and then face the river and see what to do. Nightmare. We lose. We might already be behind like jacks, queens, kings, uh, aces here. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Against the 7-8, I thought we lose so bad on that river. I'm like, oh, it's over. It's over. On that river, I'm like, what do we even beat now? Like, they need to have... Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you all for being here. I hope you're having a great Masters Sunday. We're in four tournaments right now. The Super 215, 215 Big Sunday, Super 320, and 109 Sunday Party. Going to continue battling it out in the streets. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, let's start on Twitch. Just went from second to out of my Sunday free roll five hands. Ace King Jacks, Ace Queen suited nines, then Queen Jack suited. I think that's a sign to stop playing tonight. It'll happen, man. Hang in there. Boys and girls, happy Sunday, says Gray Street. I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm doing great, man. I hope you're doing well. And thank you. Uh, let's get it done today. Gray Street, welcome to the streets. Uh, what's up, big dog? Best of luck today, cheese. Thank you, Michael B. Uh, appreciate you, man. What kind of cheese? Um, you know, this week, Rebecca and I made a Philly cheesesteak, and we had... I had a kind of cheese I've never had before for the first time. What was it? Um, but it's 3,000. Back to flush draw with the deuce, though. Fold. Um, what is it called, man? What's the cheese on? Uh, cheese on Philly cheesesteak. Provolone. Um, kind of smelly and taste-wise, pretty mild. Very mild taste. I'm kind of indifferent to the provolone, to be honest. I think I just prefer a cheddar on the on the sandwich over a provolone. But, uh, you know, who am I to say what belongs on a Philly cheesesteak? I'm not from Philly. Um, you know, I think it's an okay sandwich. It's not a great sandwich. It's an okay sandwich. That's my feeling. Anyways, I need some coffee, Jamie. So I've got the coffee now. How many turnies do you play at once? I'm playing four right now. We usually play four to six. I've got a little master sweat going on the side. Love the Masters, so I'm just playing four right now so I can have a little screen with the, the Masters to watch on the side. Hello, I'm following you since two, three months from France. Nice to see you in live streams, says Chomo Romain. Uh, thank you very much, my friend. Merci beaucoup pour ton attention. Uh, et bienvenue, mon stream, mon ami. Can you get it done that tired? Uh, if you have any probs, I'll play for you at the final table. No big deal. Just need your account login. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate the, the offer. I'm not tired, actually. I'm okay. Um, I'm okay. I mean, I'm a little groggy, I think, from uh, staying up later and then sleeping a little later. But I've I got enough. I got eight hours last night. This is my second coffee. I'm good. We've got a little uh, congestion going on with the allergies. That's all. No sweat. 
Good luck to you, bud. Smash it. Thank you, Pete Hall. Still playing, but I'll pop in after watch as usual. All right, man. Rough day for Spurs. Uh, also yesterday, man. Yeah. Well, and the result today, it's such a weird one because you want both Arsenal and Aston Villa to lose. So I guess probably a draw was the best outcome there. But now Aston Villa is looking favorite for fourth place now. Right. Um, at least Arsenal is not going to win the league, which is great, but um, top four sweat is real. It's going to be really painful if we're not playing Champions League next year. I think we're likely to play Champions League still, but and Europa would be fine, but still, man, like we want to get into the Champions League. Hello, Jamie. What's up? Uh, A-P-N-Y-K-A-M. Hello. From Mongolia again. What's up? Welcome. Hello from Russia. Good luck. Thank you, Grishna, on YouTube. Uh, call the river here? Probably. Mm. Small blind bet of 3K. The pot's so small here in the super, but like, what's their calling range in the small blind that can bet here? that we beat maybe not we'll stay patient fam we'll stay patient because I just can't find many hands that we beat there Viewing from Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Welcome, Teton Warrior. I would take a little uh, Florida weather at the moment. DeChambeau for birdie. A long look here, 30 feet. Yep, drops it. Back to minus two. What is he going to need to give himself a shot? I mean, he can still do it if he's going to the back nine at like minus three, but I don't. I think it's out of reach if it's minus two, probably. Good luck, man. A fan from Lebanon. Thank you very much. Such an international uh, grouping today. Welcome, everyone. We have Florida, Lebanon, Russia, Mongolia. Uh, we've got a nice spread of the globe happening. Worked a popular popular cheese shop for years. Best provolone is Ariccio. It's Italian. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't. Uh, I didn't buy a a bougie provolone. I just bought whatever provolone I saw. So there could be an issue there. You've had provolone tons of times. One of the most basics out there. Yeah, it could be. You know, I've had four cheese pizza before. Right? Of course it could be on there. I just don't think I've ever had provolone in my fridge. That's what I mean. It doesn't come on burgers very often, right? It's pretty much a sandwich play. Like a like an Italian sandwich kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know, chat. Like what's the cheese game is is not a game that I've really been into. Like growing up uh, our diet was, I would say, pretty basic, right? Like, we didn't really stray. We were from central Canada, right? So, like, the origins of our food would be British from 150 years prior and then, you know, with some sort of um, North American influence, right? So, Sunday meals were often, like, beef and potatoes kind of thing. Uh, you know, we'd eat chicken a couple times a week. We'd have pork sometimes. Uh, you know, like, meat carb vegetable kind of construction uh our italian food was very limited you know of course pizza 
Um, but, you know, pasta was spaghetti or, or rotini. Pretty much just that with like tomato sauce base. That's it. Uh, Japanese food, non-existent. Chinese food, just Chinese takeaway. Didn't have any Indian food growing up. So I don't know. I would, I would consider our the food habits of people in central Canada to be like just pretty basic, straightforward, um, wholesome, hearty food, you know? If there's any sort of like tilt internationally, it would be beef. Beef heavy diet, I think. Um, so like cheeses is not really a thing we did, right? Like I'd have cheese strings. Cheddar and matza and uh, Parmesan and, you know, people could get blue cheese dressing. I don't think I've ever had it, but they could get blue cheese dressing at, at restaurants. But, like, I've never tasted uh, brie or gruyere or, it's, it's like, just, there's so many cheese, cheeses, I have no idea what they're like. We're all in here with Ace 10. So what are your thoughts on the cheese, chat? I saw Daniel put out a poll this week saying, of all the types of cuisine, I, his least favorite is French cuisine. Um, and it got me thinking about what my favorite slash least favorite would be. And it's really tough to say, especially now. Um, Italian is such... Like Italian food, I think, is really basic and simple, but it's uh, delicious. So I like Italian, but then I also do like beef, like steak and burgers. and um, So I have that hometown sort of bias that way. Japanese food, when I was eating it, I really enjoyed. I just don't think I've had enough French. So I don't know. What would you say, chat? Like, what's your feelings on it? Good luck from Israel. Thank you, Ohad Rothschild. Welcome. Welcome and thank you. We're back to starting stack here in the Super 320. Just kind of treading water in all of these, trying to find our moments, which are not arising yet, but uh, any moment now. Is it normal that you can only play max four tables at a time? You know, I could play 12. I would get tired pretty quickly. My average on Sunday is six. Um, I'm just watching the Masters a bit. As an amateur on Party Poker, or can I play more tables at the same time? Yeah, you can play as many as you'd like. Unless you're from Germany. In Germany, I think there's a table cap. Um, but other countries don't have a limit, I don't think. Um, do you also get a hello from Denmark? Thanks, man. There we go. We're starting to fill in a bit of the globe here. I'm also from Jackson Beach, someone on YouTube, nice. Don't forget UK, I never would, Latvia, nice. Never could forget the UK, dude. Mm. I almost dropped my coffee, that would've sucked. Would've really sucked. But we didn't, we're fine. Everything's cool, chat. All right. Morikawa, Homa, Aberg, Shoffley. Honestly, Shoffley is a guy that I didn't consider in the mix and is in the mix right now. Fleetwood has got a small putt for what looks like birdie to get in the mix here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be such a crazy back nine at Augusta, man. This is going to be such an epic Sunday at the Masters. I'm getting pre-goosebumps about what's about to happen here. Do you ever play Drunken? And if yes, does it affect your game heavily? Uh, just ask for a friend. 
Uh, I don't drink that often. I drink like maybe once a week. Uh, and for a few years, I didn't drink like at all. For like maybe four or five years, I, I drank like once or twice. Um, so I don't know. Like drinking's just not a huge part of my life. And it's pretty much always social. If I'm going out to an event, I'll drink before or drink after or whatever. Um, so I don't really have the desire to drink while I play poker. Um, would it affect my game? I think so, right? Like I think it would have at least a small effect. Um, I think for most people it would have a fairly large effect in terms of their skill set. If I could be so arrogant, I've played enough tournament poker where I could probably be under the influence and still know what a shoving range looks like, right? So like I might make some sizing mistakes on later streets maybe, but like I'm gonna be able to play a pretty solid strategy if it, even if I'm drunk. I don't think that's true of most people that play uh, just because they don't have enough experience. So I'm being a little arrogant and a little honest, but I think I think I would handle it and I don't think you can. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> and listen, I don't, it makes me uncomfortable to say that, but I believe that to be true. Um, that said, like, you know, if poker's your hobby, um, I mean, go for it, right? Like, for sure. You should go to the tournament in April 25th in Korea. I would love to, but I have some tournaments here in Montreal. Uh, and I got the stream and stuff, man. I got a dog that can't fly, you know? It's just, uh, the world tour is on pause. But don't get me wrong, dude. I, I want to go all over the world and play poker all over the world and see it all. I really look forward to a stage of life where that can happen again. Just it's not right now. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not this month. Good luck if you're going, though, to Korea. Uh, we're going to call for 3,500. Flop is a 6 4. Maddie, trying to get your bounty. It's not going to happen, Maddie Bands. Not going to happen today, brother. We had over 500 kinds of cheeses where I worked. Didn't know there was that many kinds. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Go to a cheese shop and see all the imports and try some. It's wild. Yeah, man. I'd like to. I'd like to try more. I don't know. It's like I never really enjoyed the, the smell or the taste of cheese growing up, right? So... But it's something that I think I'll appreciate more as an adult. I just need to, I need to make it happen, you know? I could fairly easily go my whole life not making it happen and being very cheese basic, but probably worth giving a go, dude. I don't know. Watching from England, UK says, Wota Travesty on Twitch. What's up? Any tips for people learning to play poker on a more advanced level? So this is, commonly my answer to that question and i think this is true and it's underappreciated in the professional poker space poker is such a big game what i mean by that is there's so much to learn and that can be intimidating right um, a lot of people want to know what they need to learn you have all sorts of different sources of things that can send you on a path as you progress through your poker journey it'll tell you what you need to learn right you can go through video courses or you can use software like a hybrid where you practice and it feeds you uh, the things you need to get better at. All of that is great, right, uh, and useful. But one of the first steps in poker is coming to understand the breadth of the game. You need to learn what you don't know, right? You need to learn what you kind of know and you need to learn what you don't know to then start working on the things you don't know. Um, because, you know, there's strategy like preflop strategy, and then there's, well, open raising, and then there's three betting, and then there's reshoving at different stack depths, and then there's, you know, bubble play, and then there's ICM, and then there's adjustments against human beings, and then there's game theoretical poker, and then there's uh, exploitative poker, uh, you know, and then there's the mental game and solving for that, and there's progressive knockouts. Uh, and there's pot limit Omaha and there's limit poker uh, and there's different softwares right and then there's different poker rooms like there's just there's so much it's 
It's an enthralling, massive cornucopia of game, okay? And so I think in the early days, soak up as much information as you can. Not all of it is going to be great, right? But you don't have to judge it. Just like take in what you can to fill in some of the map of what poker is, what you know, what you don't know. And as you start to fill that in, you're going to be able to ask yourself better questions, right? Like, oh, I don't understand what they mean when they're saying full equity. What does full equity mean? Right. And then you might be able to dive in a little bit and start to understand fold equity, learn a little bit about fold equity, learn how it works, you know, learn where you can, you can apply, uh, some strategies to get fold equity, uh, where, when it's not a good idea. I think that's the early stages, man. Just soak in what you can from wherever, whatever sources you can, you know, paid or not paid. Just try and learn as much as possible as you play and, and gain some experience. That's what I would say. Canada, let's go. This is Regan Mayo. What's up? Let's go, man. Hello from Greenland as well. Whew. Got it covered, yo. Canada, Greenland, UK. Where's the Iceland at so we can sort of cover the north of the globe? We got Russia. Uh, we've got Denmark. If we can just get like a, a Norway and an Iceland, we'll pretty much have the top of the globe covered, man. Balut31, drop of the 51 month resub, the legend on Twitch. Thank you, Balut. Appreciate you. What's up, man? Please release me. I have not suffered enough. Never. You're locked in, bro. You got to stick around. You're playing against the world or just certain areas? Just certain areas. Um, on Party Poker International, we can't play with a ton of different uh, countries. There's still some, for sure, right? But um, it's less than a lot of the other poker sites, so um, a smaller pool, like seven, eight countries or so. <clears throat> Scheffler will win by a couple strokes, says Kevin Smith. All right. It's a bold call, um, but he is the favorite, and he's up by two strokes right now. Of anyone on tour, I think you would have to give Scheffler the most likely to be a dominant force, right? Multiple major winner. He's got the demeanor of a champion. I don't know. What's up, Nate Simpson on Facebook? Have a great Sunday. Let's get some top fives today. All right, man. I like it. First time live watching. Let's go. Let's get it done. Welcome. I bet 4,000 here. Top pair, we get raised by Real JMP. Uh, that's not great news, but we call bad turn would be a nine, obviously. A queen is also not very good. Um, check fold. I don't know. We like we're still losing against so much stuff. We're gonna beat ten eight, turning itself into a bluff. Ooh, and that bet is a little too small, honestly. Uh, we do need to call now because I think it's two pair turning itself into a bluff based on the small bet size. King Jack. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that hand makes sense to me for what it's worth. Because I think the raise from King Jack on the flop is bad. I would never expect King Jack or Queen Jack to raise here. Ace Jack being the worst raising hand. Uh, and then straights, some two pairs, and then some bluffs. Um... I don't think we can ever expect a king jack. And then I also don't think we can expect a check back from straight on the turn. Um, so yeah, I think we need to call when we're getting four to one on the river there. Because they're probably turning two pair into a bluff. That's the most likely hand. It's really hard to have a straight when it check checks turn. Like king jack is pretty much the only thing that makes any sense. Uh, and it doesn't make sense. I don't think so. Big bet here. I don't know what I don't know exactly. Do we get to call against Mr. Bands? We're getting four to one. We have 18%, but it's not super clean. And that they can have better flush draws, which has us drawing dead. 
So we have 18%. We have some implied, implied odds of like when we hit our hand, we might get paid. But when they have a higher flush draw, we're drawing dead. Right. Um, when they have the ace high flush draw, we're dead. So that makes it not good. Wow. DeChambeau dropping a bomb on five with a back-to-back -back birdies. Okay. DeChambeau showing up. Well, I wish we had good stacks. We don't yet, but it's okay. Stay patient. Let's say, Jamie, thank you, Matthew Lawrence Pointer. Let's win another today. We are printers. Let's go. Printing in progress. Step one, enacted. Norway, Sweden, perfect. Just need Iceland. Don't forget Sweden. See, in my head, I thought Norway covered the north part of Sweden. Uh, let me check out a map and see if it does. Yeah, it does. So basically, if we've got the UK, Iceland, Greenland, Canada, Russia, and Norway, we've got the top of the globe covered, dude. 100%. I mean, technically, you could draw some lines to, like, Ireland, France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Denmark, but, like, not really, you know? Not really. We're just waiting on Iceland. What about good old Germany? I mean, you gotta love Germany, dude. I miss it greatly. Berlin was so cool, and I honestly can't wait to go back. I want the uh... next uh, next crisis I have. I think I need to spend in Berlin, dude. I do. I think I think Rebecca and I need to go and um, just live out an emo phase. I think, dude. Honestly, just buy black. Get some four-inch pumps, put on some chains, and uh, get lost in, in nightclubs for about three months. Um, yeah. Just be absolute degenerates to the highest degree. Um, and then come out the other side. Can't wait, honestly. Cannot wait. I can wait. It's just, it'll happen. Just give it a bit of time. How do you stay hungry and have desire playing all the time? Hard for me, even though I love it. Yeah, it's challenging for me too. 13 years into poker, right? Like I think I've been able to find a balance in my life to where things fit better. Um, it's a common thing in poker and it doesn't apl apply to most people that are watching this, right? But you'll, you'll see most professionals and they will have three or four year stint where they go crazy hard and then they're done, right? And then you see some people that are lifers where poker is kind of just like everything that they have. And it's sometimes it's a little, I think it can be a little depressing, not for us to watch them, but for, the, for them, where it's like, it's the only option they have, but they're not enjoying it, right? But it's like the only thing that they, that's in their, their life. Um, one of the things I've worked on a lot in my life over the last couple of years is finding a little bit of a better balance between aspects of who I am as a person in that from basically from the age of about 11 until I'd say 28, my work was the entirety of my personality. Um, 
you know, I made up probably like 95% of my self-identity, I'd say. And that's not, you know, you, you can live life that way if you want, but it's not a very uh, good way to be, I think. So now for me, it's more like 60%, 55, 60% is like being a poker professional, being a content creator, being a streamer, uh, working on my career. It's still like a really big part of my life, but it's not everything. And it allows me to, you know, have some weeks where I play one day a week and I enjoy it, right? I play and it's like, okay, it's fun. Um, but then I can shut it down and move on to other things. And then have some weeks like this week where I'm going to play like four or five days this week uh, and I have a good time. It's like, okay, we're getting into the zone. We're getting a lot of hands in, right? Um, so, yeah, I don't know. For me, it was just kind of adjusting life to where burning out on the game of poker was not really possible as much anymore because of the balance, finding perspective, uh, you know, and in some ways it was about bolstering up myself as a person in all these other avenues of like, okay, what is it like? What do, you know, what do I like outside poker? Oh, I like art. I like literature. I like music. Uh, I like exercising and exploring cities, right? Um, I like having great conversations with people. Um, I like going out, partying, having fun. Um, I really like spending time with my family. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of the balance allows the uh, poker to be in perspective and make it doable, you know. So we're going to squeeze all in here with the sixes. Squeeze it in. We also have room for a table now that we busted that 215. Big Sunday, which is not what we wanted, but here we are. Let's get the 109 6 Max Turbo. Let's get that going. Prefer no call here if possible, but Sullivan is going to come for us. And it doesn't look good in the flip so far. Club? Uh, we can still re-enter there, and I will. Again, I don't think it's theoretically a great decision to re-enter here at this stage of the game. But since it's our Super 215, I'm a Party Poker Pro, I'm going to put in the put in the register and, and give you all a couple dollars of equity probably with the late reg, so that's fine. Uh, here's a 109 as well. Um, let me change the buy-in tab there. Okay. And let me add a 215 and a 109 to our Mayans. <coughs> uh, is that a Scheffler bogey? That's a Scheffler bogey. I mean, I'm not rooting against Scheffler, but I'm rooting for an exciting back nine and one back to the, to the whole squad is pretty good there. Uh, Ireland, the Nord here. There you go. Belgium here. All right, nice. Not playing the Venom today, but good luck. Where's Rebecca? She is upstairs, working away, man. Working away. That American geography. What are you on about? I'm Canadian, first of all. Second of all, probably name me every country in Europe right now. Playing the 109 for the first time, thanks to your free roll last week, where I got third place. Thank you. No problem, Bill Scully. And good luck, man. Thanks to Party Poker. Good luck from Dublin, Ireland. Thank you, my friend. Sweden here, Spain, Norway. What's up? Let's go. On YouTube, welcome everyone. Yen says, good luck, 109 Turbo. Are we playing the same table, Yen? Good luck, man. Uh, Ace King, here we go. This is the start of the spin up in the 320. Bouncy in play. Who wants it? You're not getting it because I have Ace King, but who wants it, anyways? Who just dropped in a chip there? I don't know. Rom plus four. 
Just had a struggle all week, hasn't he? John Rom. Good luck from Ukraine. Thank you, Max. Max. Bogorov. Bogorov? Bogorov? I don't know where to put the emphasis in English. Ace King against Jack, against Jack 5. There we go. Above starting stack. An absolute piece of cake, Dottie. Moving on. Adam Scott. Great chip in there, Adam Scott. Here we go again with the Ace King. Beautiful hands in the 320 Super. Let's see how we get on. Aberg says Paul Savoy. Aberg for the win. All right, there it is. I mean, yeah, two back. Right there. Ferret Employer makes it nine bands. Ship it. Win it. Let's go. 66. Uh, we'll defend with 9 8 in the big blind here. No bounties or anything in the small field 109 turbo. Uh, nice little flick though, I think. Good fun. Uh, and I've had such success in these small fields, to be honest. Like, it just, it's gone so well. The last couple of weeks, I've won a bunch of small field tournaments outright. Um, so I like playing these deep into the night, dude. <laughs> deep into the night. Uh, about a 1,200 check raise? Yeah, I think so. Could also check all here too, but I think check raise is fun. I think too thin to value bet our second pair average kicker after we check raise flop. Uh, what was the hand? Let's see. Ace eight. Yep. Ooh, with the heart as well. They could have definitely bluffed the river if we bet the river. Glad we didn't. Would have been tough times. Uh, this is a raise on the button. I'm lurking. She is. How much you make? What do you mean, agent? 147, 147. What are you talking about? One crazy free roll. I don't understand. I get a fold. Need to call with 9 7 in the super and check fold on ace queen four. Look from planet Earth. Vlad, what's up, dude? We're neighbors. Same here, brother.
Pocket Nines is beautiful. Um, I think we're just going to jam. You can also min raise to induce. The thing is that's going to happen, though, is I think they're just going to call on the big line with a bunch more hands. Rip. Rip. We lose the flip. Uh, I can re-enter one more time. Hell yeah. Let's go. Nice clapback. Touche. True Canadians can play on party poker. Must be nice. Uh, it is nice, man. I feel bad for my Ontario brothers, but yeah, it is a good time. Good old state of New Jersey, the armpit of America. <laughs> um, I've been once in Atlantic City. I haven't explored much beyond that. I live in PA, so I can play on PokerStars PA and Borgata, very small markets as of right now, but the fields are stupid soft. I believe that. I believe that, Uber J. And it's fair enough. If you're if you're trash talking American education as an American, then it's fine. Because you at least you're being self deprecating with your insult, right? It's fair enough. Were you going to tell your viewers the truth about places like ACR? I don't know what you mean. First of all, I'm a party poker pro. Okay. I want you to all play with me on party poker if you're in a place around the world that can play. Uh, but the second thing is I I know the guys at ACR. I like them. I think they're doing what they can. You know, they've got their own approach to poker and the market. And uh, I like them. So I have nothing bad to say, man, to be honest. I think they're doing their best, you know? I don't agree with every decision they make, but um, there's a bunch of operators in poker, pretty much all of them except for GG, that I like what they're doing right now, you know? Like, everyone's doing their best to grow the game of poker. And we have our own approach to party poker, right? We have our own legal framework that we operate within, and that means we can't, you know, provide services to as many places like ACR decides to. But um, I don't have bad things to say about them, you know? And good luck to everyone playing the Venom today. I'm a poker player first, man, you know? I want everyone around the world to be able to play poker. I think it's a it's a beautiful game. So Power to them, man. Pull the 89. Are you playing any WCPC tournaments at playground? Yes. Yeah, I played uh the 400 last night, bidet. I'll be playing again tonight. Late registering, quite late. But uh, yeah, I'll be in there today. Um, and yeah, probably play some more. There's a uh, there's a 1K on Wednesday I'll probably play. There is a 3K next Monday I'll probably play. So to be determined, but firing a few. The ones that don't interfere with Sunday streams and stuff. Stefan Angelino, what's up, brother? Welcome. How many people started in the Daily Legends 6 Max Turbo? We have uh, 13 entrants right now. It's a 4K guarantee, so it's going to get 40. Um, we'll see by the end of Reg. Ludwig Aberg is putting together a great front nine here. One under, very solid. Let's call with the fives in position. Good luck from Portugal. Thank you, Andre. Gondam. My aunt and uncle are in Portugal right now. And I hope just having the greatest time. Morikawa for birdie and the co-lead on five. Oof, so close. So close. We got sub hype on Twitch coming in. Bidet, bidets, bidet, bidets. Thank you so much for dropping that prime sub on me this month, my friend. Welcome back to the team. Get some love in the chat for bidet, bidets. I'll see you there. And you just asked about WC, WSOPC Playground. 
I'll see you at Playground tonight, I'm assuming. Maybe. Check. I got a 109 ticket for the Sunday party. First was a 530 ticket. Yeah. And good luck in the party if you got your ticket in the free roll. Speaking of, by the way, I need to get through the uh, the $11 big quarter because I keep failing. Is Party Poker dying a bit, Jamie? Feels seem really small lately. We're just op we're not operating in as many countries as we used to, right? So it gives the impression of like, oh no, field sizes are smaller and smaller. It's like, well, we're just we're operating in less countries, right? And that's not anything I can influence or the people that are working on the Party Poker software or the tournament schedule can influence. It's a decision by the parent company of Party Poker, Entain, as to where they want to operate uh, from a legal perspective, right? So uh, that's the thing. Like people that play in regulated markets that are just one state or one province, like it's not as exciting as being able to play with everyone around the world, but you can find very profitable games. You can make a lot of money. You can run a good solid game, right? For us, I think we're operating in eight, nine countries right now, something like that. Um, and so at the end of the day, like we can... We can make a lot of money playing again those eight, nine countries, right? Where there's still exciting tournaments. There's high quality, safe games. Uh, there's everything we need to run a good, a good poker site and uh, have engaging games, right? So yeah, um, like we just pulled out of Sweden, for example, I think, which is, you know, that's a bummer because that. You know, that's another player pool that we, we don't get to play against, right? But um, it's okay, right? It, poker's still poker. It's two cards against other people. <clears throat> How come you don't like GG if you don't mind me asking? I just don't enjoy a lot of the decisions they're making uh, as a company uh, and then also by extension for poker. Um on a couple fronts. One, there was um, a, a game integrity uh, breach that happened about two months ago where there was a sort of glitch in the system and people were able to see uh, allegedly all inequities before showdown. Uh, that can't happen, right? I think software development, they lead the game. They, they do everything they can to push the boundaries to improve their software continually. And it's great that we have an operator that's trying to do that, but it can't come at the expense of game integrity. And it did, and it cost people a lot of money, and the extent of how much money it was never unearthed for people to find out, that can't happen from a market leader. It just can't. Uh, so they deserve, from my mind as a consumer, right, as a player, they deserve my selective choice to not play there for a while, right? Uh, it's like I should use my vote as a consumer to showcase that I don't appreciate that lack of care when it comes to something so important. Um, the second thing is the way that they treat the poker community and that I think um, they've, they view the existing ethos of, uh, of poker as sort of optional, right? Instead of participating in the Reddit poker subreddit, they make their own. Instead of participating in the Twitter conversation, they make their own. Um, instead of participating in the Twitch poker uh, directory, they just focus on YouTube, right? So they kind of are telling different stories from the existing stories. And I think they think that's a good strategy so that the resources that they put in are not as vulnerable to other competitors, right? Like they just start their own conversation and they ignore the one that's going on. However, poker, uh, has a long storied conversation, right? Um, it's not sort of a blank slate. Uh, slot machines are a blank slate, right? Um, table games are a blank slate. There is no sort of community around these uh, these games. But poker's PvP comes from a history of the World Series of Poker, a history of um, poker being played in the the back rooms in southern Texas <laughs> and, and beyond that, right? And now it has an international history. And I don't think... GG is interested in participating in that conversation. It just wants to make its own to maximize its revenue, which is a shame. I think their marketing behavior is poor um, as well in terms of the way that they sort of like use up and chew out and spit out um, 
resources. Um, I don't like that. Um, I don't like their agnosticism when it comes to the way they want to market. I think they will, you know, for example, they would use anyone as an ambassador if it would make them money. I don't think they have any sort of like um, mission focused um, ideas about the way they want their, their site to be. You counter, you counter that to like PokerStars, right? Um, another company that I don't work with, I used to work with them. But the way that they look at the game is they have feelings about like how they want their poker room to be run, right? Like they have sort of ethics and they have uh, a belief in the game of poker and an understanding in it. I don't think GG has any of that. Um, and just recently this week, a skin of GG, the Russian one, uh, came out where the CEO said, you know, I've had this conversation with GG and they're fully in agreement that we're not interested in having any professional poker players on our site. They can play other places, but they're not welcome on GG um, because we're, we don't want them, right? And so it's turning poker, the game that it is, which is a player versus player uh, competition, into a casino game. And that makes sense because it makes the most money uh, for them, right? So if they can just drive away all winning players to where they're just vacuuming up all the money, that's business efficient. You can make that work on a spreadsheet. But um, what's obviously missing is like the entire thing that makes the game interesting, which is this is a person versus person competition where there are winners and where there are losers. And there's a bunch of people in the middle that are breaking even and losing some to rake. And uh, if you remove that competition and everyone loses, you're left with a shell of a game. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, Our market leader does not have a, our best interests at heart, I don't think, right? Like they, every, every company is trying to make money, but uh, they understand the ways to do that are going to be to collaborate with, with their customers. Uh, GG's approach seems to be to sort of just crush them. And uh, I think that sucks. I don't know so I would very much like party poker to be the market leader we can't with the amount of uh, amount of countries that we operate in but uh, if I had to choose between stars and GG it's it's stars 800 times over right and that I think they're a more ethical reasonable company I think so <laughs> now all that said right I have an account on GG. I'll still play some tournaments on GG in my life. Uh, things could change at GG, right? Like, um, it could adjust. Um, and there's a bunch of countries around the world where it's your only option. And I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't play poker. At the end of the day, you want to play poker? It's your only option. You're going to play. Um, I also know that there's a ton of great people at GG that are just trying to do good work, right? My, my problems are executive level, right? Like, they're... Um, strategy level, their corporate level, right? That's where I really largely disagree uh, with them as a company, not the people that are just trying to make interesting software. It's like, yeah, do your thing. Not the people that are trying to put it together an interesting tournament schedule. Do your thing. It's management and up. We have an issue. And marketing. And game integrity a bit. Anyways, let's catch up on the chat. What do you mean by in position? Uh, so it's just a, it's a way of referencing who acts first and who acts last. So if you're in position, it means you get to make the choice on the end, whether you want to bet or check. So we're out of position here, right? We're in the small blind. They get to decide, they're in position. They get to decide if they want to check here or if they want to bet and put pressure on us. Uh, being in position is a really powerful advantage in poker. Really powerful. P 
Don't you think how poker gets technically solved in one area, but as soon as they focus uh, goes on a new winning strategy, the possible combinations for counting each strategy blows up exponentially? I think in some scenarios, right? Like I think five blinds deep, we have a solve for poker, but you're playing poker against human beings. So it's not about, um, you know, deploying like a theoretically optimal strategy. It's about exploiting people's mistakes. Um, so, you know, I think there's a, there's a solve for poker. I don't think we are, uh, I don't think that's essentially a problem playing against human beings at the moment. So, yeah. Played in the Colossus uh, Friday, felt the structure wasn't deep enough, should have played the monster stack word. Yeah, could play today. But maybe you're done for the weekend, I don't know. All right, um, quick break. Enjoy five minutes of highlights. Poker Staples on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, and I'll be back in just a few minutes and get to all your comments as well. Stay with me. Seven suited, seven eight suited. That's it. Like, what else do we beat? Nothing. That's it. I'm just expecting to lose on the river. Uh, okay, 18.6. We're kind of back, low-key. We are back a little bit. Fenty Poker opens, we three bets. Uh, when the big blind folds, it's great because they have too wide of a range and they fold. When they call, sometimes they call closing the action, we can flop enough flush draws, $500 bounty in play. It's just a spot we want to attack with the ace, deuce of clubs, I think. Um, what's really impressive is, is if, for you, Jamie, oh, thanks, man. Uh, I don't know what that means, but what's impressive is if they four bet wider once they fold, uh, because they know my range is too wide. But yeah, we have to fold here, obviously. And let's see, friend of the stream, Lucky Luciano, is out of the tournament, unfortunately. GG, Panty Poker continues. Portugal, France, and Spain have combined player pools. Word, there you go. <clears throat> Maybe we just have a value bet on the end. Wow, trip nines is pretty sick. Uh, we're going to see bet. Thanks for the sub. Small bet against Bulldozer. This is such a good spot for us because we have trip nines. So hard to have trip nines, right? There's not many hands that we have that contain a nine raising in this position. Bulldozer has way more nines than the big blind. So they can mess around a bunch, right? They're going to think we're C betting too much. This is really good news. They check raise. We call. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing, 21. Right? Like, this is just a call. Hope they keep bluffing. Or they have a nine, of course. But, like, most likely they're just bluffing. Um, 1.8. Giving to call. Uh, there's better rivers. Kind of hope for a deuce, right? Because nine tens in the range, nine deuce is not, but um, that's fine. And they check, and we will bet ourselves for value. Because I think we can get a call from worse nines for what it's worth. Uh, jack nine, queen nine, nine eight, nine seven. Uh, but they fold, take it down. Ace is ace king. Oh my goodness, so sick for Bulldozer. Uh, I think we have a new second place. C. Mundrug King takes it down. We are down to six. 236 bounty is gone. I think they have us covered in chips now. Yes. 23 million, 20 million, 18 million, and then 15 million, and then big gap down to 6 million and 3 million. It was pretty interesting. Jack 9 suited is a nice looking hand, but we have to fold to 3 bet, fold to 3 bet, fold to 3 bet. It's nice to play against the big line where they defend, but it's only a $100 bounty. I think we're going to fold. Raise call and squeeze all in for this bounty. We just want the ladder at this point. This bounty is not very valuable. Would love to ladder up another spot. 1583 in the prize pool, 1100 in bounties for 2600. That's all profit as well. It's pretty sweet. Tens against ace 10. And we want the tens to hold. And they do. GG, we're down to five. We need every chip in the tournament, dude. We need every single chip, but we don't mind that bust out along the way. Uh, 2045 cash. Next payout is 3000, so just under a 1K jump. Sevens in the big line is fun because we probably get to see a flop here. Unless there's like a raise three bet, which there could be. Wow. I think just call. I don't think it's a great hand to squeeze. Call, go to a flop. King, eight, five, two overcards. Uh, and out of position is not a very fun hand to play. 
If it checks to Panty Poker and they bet small, like, what do we do with our sevens, right? The preflop Razor bets, I think it's fine to fold here. Uh, it's a bet into three people. We have, you know, two outs really to improve our hand. And it might be one out with the spades, so. Uh, when it goes back call, very easy fold, but even heads up, I think it's a fold there with sevens. It is about a $900 pay jump here. Again, I think we get to call sevens on the button. Such a great squeeze spot for both opponents, but sevens are strong enough anyways to hopefully fade the great squeeze situation for both of them. Let's see. This is a slam dunk squeeze, though. I mean, I would not be surprised to see one. Hello, chat. We're back in action. Thanks for being here, you beauties. Okay. Uh, super 215, 109 Sunday Party, 320 Super on the soft bubble, and then 109 Six Max Turbo. Continue on our journey. Thanks for being here. Let me catch up on uh, what I missed in chat, which is quite a bit. Miss the days of Isildur and Ivy and other high stakes pros around the world. The game of poker itself seems to break the chains of global financial bondage. So when did the global banking industry complex do? They cried money laundering. Yeah, uh, Black Friday really screwed up some stuff. You need 10 minute breaks every 90 minutes or every two hours. I would like a longer break every once in a while too, but um, it's been an endless discussion and no one thinks it's a good idea, I guess. Okay. Checking out what's going on. Good luck from Ukraine. What's up, what's up? Jersey over here, good luck today. Morikawa, a vote from Keith. Can you show the schedule of WPT Montreal or tell me, is there a 200, 300 tourney in the upcoming days? Uh, there is some. There's a 400 tomorrow and a 400 today. Um, ooh, Queens is pretty good. Let's see. So there's a 300 Colossus. That was the last day yesterday. All right, this is unfortunate, but we get in Queens for sure. Um, maybe consider folding jacks here, honestly. Uh, to the cold four, but get it in. We got to dodge the jack. Nice. Let's go. We win the flip. So there is a 400 seniors on Monday. There's a four, a 600 PLO tomorrow. What's up as well? 800 bounty on Tuesday. There's a 400 bounty on Tuesday at 6 p.m. That's probably the best shot for you at, because you asked for like a 300 range. There's just that 400 bounty on Tuesday, basically. There's some 600s and stuff, but not, not any 300s really. Uh, twos here. Should be quite strong, two off the money bubble on a short stack. I don't think I want to regen. Watching all the way from Malta, Carl Grants. What's up, my friend? I miss Malta, special place. Hello, Marion. Good luck with the grind today, Jamie. Thank you, Michael Anchor Smith. Yo, Lord Tupperware, drop that resub, gets a love of the chat. 18 month resub, hearts out for your boy, Lord Tupperware. Thank you, man, for the year and a half. Ooh, too thin here, seven nine suited, yeah. But we have chipped up to like an actual stack now in the Super 215, which is cool. Uh, still to come for us, we're gonna be playing these side pieces. 215, 
109. Um, the eleven dollar big quarter. I'd love to play today as well. Reg closes in twenty minutes. Okay. Check check, Maddie Bands with the sevens, dude. Check check. Check, check on the terrible 10 turn. Okay. Captain work chips up. So we are 11 to 13, 11 pay. Uh, let's pull up the other table here, actually, because Matty Ice is in 12. And on the other table, there is uh, a 60k stack. Put it up there so we can sweat it. Should be able to watch there. Yeah. Raised to 6K in a call from Matty Baines. We're going to call as well with our fives. Matt's on three of our tables right now, which is hilarious. And we flop a set. Need to check. There's only one bounty we can get. It's Matt's. We can get it over two streets. Um, the problem is it's going to check through sometimes here, but again, we can still get this bounty. It's probably best to start with a check here. We bet. We bet. And we bet. Oh, we have a big hand here, ace-10 suited in the 320 on the bubble. But we bet and they fold. So we take it down there, up to 200,000, the Super 215. It's ace-10, first impression is jam, I think is the right play here. But now Captain Wook goes for the three bet, we have to fold. Went from a jam to a fold just like that, uh, but it's too wide. Are you related to Matthew Staples? Yes, he's my brother. He is my brother. He's also a streamer. Uh, just on Twitch, not on YouTube and Facebook, just on Twitch. Um, also a party poker team pro, so yeah. So most you've won in one tournament, 105,000, a couple years ago. Uh, good luck, Jamie, I hope you win, thanks. Ashish, Narelle, me too. Fingers crossed. Just waiting for this pot to finish up before we get started again. Um, this is the short stack, but we want some bust outs here, right? We want to get ourselves into the money in the 320. And cash will be probably $300. It's a bounty. 350. Okay. 350 min cash.
Old Queen Deuce, pretty trash. Uh, I'm a party poker pro, South Nottingham Cars. So I play as much as I can on party poker, showcase our tournament schedule, our series that we have going on, our main events on Sunday and stuff. Um, but I still can play on other sides too when I need to add stuff in. Occasionally I will. Oof. Ace check offsuit, but a raise from one worst position here. Sand sucks, dude. It's not a shove with ace 10. Ace jack is the line. This spot just sucks. I don't think I can flat. I'm leaning towards fold, but thinking the thing is they're going to open maybe not every Broadway here, but definitely every suited Broadway, of course. They might fold Jack 10 into these stacks. Jack 10, Queen 10. Should obviously crush all those Broadways, but. Yeah, okay, I'm all in. I'm all in. I think there's just too many Broadways to fold, but I hate this spot because we're going to have to flip often. We don't want to flip on the soft bubble. We're 12 of 13. We don't have any bounties. We will have some fold equity here. It's just, it's kind of a sucky spot, man. This, this, uh, this situation. It's definitely the line. Ace 10 is a fold. Ace queen is a shove, and there's not a lot of thinking required for either. But Matt is tanking, which is bad news. Nice. Take it out. Uh, okay, so we're on 147. That's good. Uh, puts us in a much stronger spot. Trying to get our way to the money. Ace-5 here, we're calling in position. DeChambeau is within striking distance. Wow, Zalator's made this? No. Nope. Birdie, though. We fold to the check jam from Medi Bands. Ace is 8 7. Ace is win. Nice hand. Aces. King Queen suited here. We are all in in the 109. And we win. Easy enough. Uh, fold King 10 as well. Um, raising King Jack. Folding King-9 offsuit, King-10 is the decision point, and I think given the stack, the way our stack is, and then the stacks in general in the tournament, I think a fold is a good decision. But Ace King is just not a fold. It's a raise, call a jam, and uh, good luck us.
We like the three bet less than all in. It actually gives us some fold equity here, which is kind of cool with Ace King, but ship it. Good luck, us. And a fold. Look at that. Please shout me out. I'm for the Philippines. All right, Rodriguez, Christian. Welcome. Just like that, we're up to 200,000. Beautiful stuff that puts us 9 and 13. We're the only... Oh, there's two stacks that have no bounties in the tournament, actually. But it's okay. We'll spin it up from here. Looking decent in both the bounties. Question about Poker Academy, I see a referral under the stream. Is it possible to buy just the preflop tool? Don't really need access to the post-flop stuff right now. I'm not actually sure, Chloro. Um, when I started working with them, it was just the um, preflop stuff. Uh, so I don't know. They should have like a question mark support button in the bottom corner, I assume. Um, but if they are unable to answer that, I can also ask for you too. Just let me know. jam here I think there's so much money is in there I think we want to start with that okay sweet so it's 131,000 there and we're still on the soft bubble of this super 320 13 left 11 pay the shorty actually doubled up on the other table so they're on 49,000 now and we have a jam against Mr. Bands here if uh, if it folds to us with an ace for sure. But Mr. Falcon's going to open the button often. Which case fold is fine. I think. Gotta shove he's opening wide, yeah. He's Jack is close, man. No, it's not close. Ace 10 suited. Ship it. Kaden, 1616, dropping that prime sub. Thank you, Kaden. Appreciate the sub on Twitch. Welcome back to the team. Thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate you. Thanks, Kaden. Uh, flatter three bet here. Three bets, okay. You have 42,000. Uh, good hand to put pressure on with. You can call, and then it's a great squeeze spot for Matt and Ferret, which is not good. The only thing about three betting here is that if Matthew jams, then we need to call, which is not what we really want to do in the bubble, but we could. Do you have any goals with poker nowadays, Jamie? Largely, it's just to, like, do meaningful work, you know? Do meaningful work. So, um, that doesn't necessarily always correlate directly to profit, but uh, as a content creator, like, do stuff that I think is useful and important and valuable in the poker world and or I enjoy uh, as a person. The three-bit kings. Uh, and right now, like, I'm playing this $400 tournament at Playground, not because it's, like, a decent hourly or anything. It's not. Um, 
but because I wanted to start playing some live tournaments again. So it's just reps, you know? It's just like playing the tournament for the sake of getting some... Uh, getting some tourneys in, you know? It's, for me, it's meaningful, and it's not really related. It's, you know, at the end of this 400 tournament that I'm playing, it's, uh, wow, four bet. Ship it. Good luck us. Hopefully we don't bubble with the king king, buddy. Kings against aces, not so good to bubble the tournament with, but uh, c'est la vie. There it is. Are we still in? I think we're dead. Pretty sure we're dead, but. This, this 400 tournament is a 330 plus 70, right? So the rake is um, big, and then to Uber there and back, it's also you know, $75, so it's like, 330 plus like 160. Rake effectively is about 38, 39% on this tournament that I'm playing. Um, when you include all the expenses. Uh, there was two bust outs there, but unfortunately we are on 13th, GG. So am I making a lot of money in this 400? I, I am definitely still profitable based on what I saw yesterday, but like, am I making a lot? No, right? Like I'm making a small amount of money per hour, but it's not about that really. Uh, same thing with like creating content. Uh, the metric is not just views, right? It's meaningful. So playing tournaments that I find are meaningful um, for whatever that means for me, you know? So yeah, that is a sad bubble, I would say, but uh, sometimes bubbles be bubbling, dude. What are you gonna do with the king king? Onwards. Homa for birdie and the co-lead to join everyone at minus six. Come on, Homa. So I've just registered the 215. This is going to pop up in a sec. So I'm just going to get it all ready to go here. Get ready to fight it out. We're all in with eights. Against sevens, great lineup. Great lineup, great flop as well. Getting it done with the spade on the turn. Ship up to 81,000. Now here, we also get to contend for this 112 bounty, which is huge. We flop an open ender. So we get to check raise and gamble if they want to, or if they fold, that's great too. Either's fine. Both scenarios make us some good money. We take it. Homa, says Buster Hall, there you go. Ninety percent of the time, pocket aces get dominated in the bubble. I can't understand why poker god does that. Pain and punishment, man. Pain and suffering, part of the game.
Uh, Cloakerman, no, you can't like visit and play. You have to have a bank account and a residence to open an account. So, I mean, if you set up and you rented a spot and got a bank account, then like you'd be able to set up an account while visiting Canada, but not just for like a week visit or anything. Uh, so the check here. All right, here we go, the 250 bounty. Put it in green for knockout. The usual suspects to kick us off with the 215. Morikawa stiffs it in there, dude. Stiffs it in there. Short putt for birdie. Oh my co leader on nine. Beautiful drive, Donnie. Beautiful drive. We got sub hype coming in. HJ Tracy dropping the 20 month resub. Happy Sunday, Jamie. Master stream at poker. What a great Sunday. It's so good, isn't it? Oh, I'm just loving sweating the Masters and playing some cards today, man. Thank you very much for the reset. Welcome back. 20 months. Hearts out for HJ Tracy. Small bet on Deuce 3 5 here against Matty Benz. DeChambeau dropping a par in on nine. Mr. Bands goes for the check raise. We shall continue. Part of me wants to fast play here, actually. At these stack depths covering for a bounty. Yeah, I think I'm going to click here. I think it's a good idea with sixes, sevens, eights. Primarily, which has effectively the same strength as like uh, jacks, queens, kings. But benefits more from protection. So I think... Against check raises, there will actually be some bet three bets there. I know that in theory. Uh, and I think that's the best hand to do it with. So go for it. We take it. Moving on. Ace King here in the 109. Souse. And we win. Thirteen and twenty one, fifteen pay hanging out. Collect today, Jamie, watching the Masters Aberg to win, hopefully, says Ash Singleton. Cheers, man. Thanks for watching. Also watching on the side. It's a great top four. Scheffler, Morikawa, Homa, and Aberg all tied for the lead. Just about to enter the back nine. Is uh, This is the stuff dreams are made of. Fleetwood and DeChambeau. Possible, dude, but they're going to need they're gonna need some, uh, some magic here through A-man's corner. Fleetwood, middle of the green. Do you play poker in real life? Yes. Played just last night, man. Jay Richmond. But a lot less than online poker, obviously. $2,000 
too much. Where they say it's a pretty hand, but uh, not pretty enough. Even with the bounty, which is big, it's going to be too strong, dude. This is a 25 blind jam out of the big blind. The bounty, we're going to see less jams from like the queen jack suiteds that we'd be praying for there. It's going to be dominated far too often. Scheffler on eight. It's a beautiful putt. It's a beautiful putt, Dottie. In the solo lead, minus seven. Bluff here. I like it. Let's go for the bluff. And now we don't have to bluff. We have a bluff catcher. No. Check, check. Morikawa for birdie. There it is. Tied for the lead at minus seven. We got a showdown in Augusta. This is so weird, dude. When they check call, check check, and then they big bet river. It's just a weird sizing in general. A fold. And with Ace King here, we got sub hype coming in. Grant Wheeler, 31 month resub. Gets a love of the chat. Grant Wheeler, thank you, Grant. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the resub. Welcome back. Kind of cool to play against your brother in face of check raise. Yeah. Going to war there. Against Matty Baines. We're going to call the jack three of clubs, turns of five of diamonds. It's not a bad card to represent. The problem being we're in a 109 large field tournament, and they bet 85%, so we don't have any fold equity, and we just fold. Uh, ace queen, raise, call, squeeze here. We're going to call with the ace queen suited. We flop. No backdoor flush draw, man. Nothing. Come on, man. Nothing? Okay. All right, man.
Check raise here, three to a straight flush. Or three to a straight, three to a flush on a board where we have more threes than them. Uh, let's throw a little check raise out there. I think we're going to do that with all of our connecting backdoor flush draw hands here. And then with 3x, obviously. Turns a deuce, we check. Continue with our hearts, continue with our threes. Bad spot to bluff. And a bad hand to be up against there, frankly. Uh, I think we'll call. There's not too much that's dominating us that wants to jam for like 23 blinds, so. Let me call a6 against Queen Jack in the 109 turbo. But can we hold it? We're lagging. We don't know. No! Yes! Thank you. We win the fun way, dude. 186k? 186k. Good. Great. Homa for birdie and the co-lead on nine. He's got a 23-footer here, swinging right to left. Pace looks good. It's low. It's low. Ooh, pace does not look good. Okay. Four-footer coming back up the hill. Got on 18? No. 18? Yep. Scotty to win, I hope. Got a small fortune on him. All right, there you go, farmer. Good luck, man. Big moments. Breeze get a call. Uh, Jack Deuce 3 on the flop. I'm going to go for a small bet here. Pretty dry board. Um,. The big blind doesn't even have all their like 10 deuce and 9 deuce and 8 deuce and 7 deuce sort of hands. So it's actually not a bad flop when it's super low like the deuce 3 uh, stuff out there. So we bet. The thing about betting here is if we get a check raise, we need to continue, right? We have to call unless it's like a crazy size. But we win. Good stuff. What up, bro? Good luck on the Sunday grind. Thank you, Bobby Winger. Good to see you, man. Playing with a guy called Sorry Bud, and even though I know he isn't from Canada, I still hear it with the accent. Yeah. I have fully embraced the Bud since I've been back in Canada. Definitely a common saying. We're going to raise up Ace Queen. Well, Roliero gets upgraded to green, I think, because we play against him so often. We could win zero as well. Holding his queen offsuit.
Some good sex. Chilling out. <coughs> Mr. Scheffler, 102 on nine. Even par front nine so far. Looks like it has a bit of zip on it. Oh, wow. That's got a chance to go in. That has a chance to go in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Wow. All right. Scheffler minus eight. Minus one on the front nine. Going to the back. That's huge. Minus eight today in a rainy. It's a rainy, cold week in uh, Montreal, man. 10, 11, 12 degrees. And rainy all week, but sure a lot better than winter, I'll tell you that. Rolliero limps. I raise against the Rolliero. Part of me wants to check back, but probably not. Probably not, given the the diamonds and all that. The other. Problem here is the bet size telegraphs hand strength a bit, but we win the pot, so it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to move on. Morikawa put it in the bunker and left it this short. So a couple interesting hands going on here. Big raise from Real JMP. We're going to call with eights. Second shot, Morikawa. Sit. Okay. And a huge bet. We just fold two thirds when we flop third pair. Uh, check, check, flop. We're going to bet turn here. They're open ender. And we win. Great. Great stuff, man. Everything's going well. I mean, two and a half stacks and the 215 is good. 15 pay. There's 19 left. Um, could be 18 here. Be soft bubble. 109 Sunday party chipped up. Triple stack of the 109 six max turbo and starting stack of the 215 bounty. We did pure bubble kings against aces in the, um, in the 320, but, you know, it'll happen sometimes. What can you do?
DeChambeau on 11. I'm going to let one rip here, I think. Uh, crushed it, yeah. Whew. 3.30 carry, dude. Hell yeah. Morikawa with the double. Minus five total, which will be three back. That's a three shot sw swing on that hole. Stiff. Knocks it absolutely stiff, Dottie. Homa. Let's get a little kick in to get one back of the lead. Whew. How'd you get on the last night in the poker? I busted two bullets. Uh, kind of unlucky, though. First one, I had um, nines with 12 lines raised on the button. The big blind shoved all in. I called. They had jack six. They hit the jack, fortunately. They might have hit a flush. I don't know if it was a flush or a jack. I don't know. Um, anyways, what can you do? And then second one, uh, I had about one and a half starting stacks. We were about 10 off the money. I had queen jack, called in the big blind, flop came, queen nine three. Um, I check, they bet, I go all in for like eight, nine blinds. They call with ace king and they hit a king or an ace. I forget which. So um, unfortunate, but I can try again tonight. So I'll be there. At midnight or so to give it another go. But yeah, running cold in a few spots, man. The 320 bubble as well, kings to aces. That's, uh, we're getting some punishment in here, you know? Definitely. Scott Giles, I forget the 1K blocker bet spot, to be honest. Uh, I, I forget that spot. Sorry, man. You still play golf? Uh, I played a couple times last year. I played a lot the year before. I'm not sure what I'll do this summer. We'll see. Not sure. This is a good flop for Queen Jack. I'll tell you that. Small bet. And we win. All right, well, kind of boring, but fine. Can't complain too much to win pots. Here we go with the second best hand in poker. We're all in. I don't think there's any other option 25 blinds deep. It's a big jam, though. But when it goes raise call for 2.5x, we just kind of got to hope that someone can... Wake up with something to find the call. We 
Good hand to see. No four, no ace. Oh. Are we running cold chat? You could say that. You could say that at this point now. I think. So ace queen wins. Kings no good twice. But do we have room for another tournament? We do. What's it going to be? Can I still get the big quarter? No. I missed the big quarter, dude. All right. What else we got? This is we're hand for hand now. Let's not bubble this one, too. That would be official absolute destruction. So there's a 55 six max bounty. A little too late to reg that. Three, 33 six max deep stack. A little too long. Uh, there's a 109 six max hyper in 53 minutes. But I think there was a 109 that was supposed to start there that didn't fire, which is too bad. Uh, I guess we'll chill with our three at the moment. Or the bubble anyways, the 215. Bet, Wicked win zero, goes for the check raise to 5k. Uh, this is so flush draw coded. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to fast play here. I just think it's so likely to be a flush draw in this small blind flat. So likely. That uh, they're not going to fold a flush draw to this back raise, and we just want to get money in, man. Yeah. No! Absolutely not, Dottie. Re-enter. Come on, dude. Huh? What's with that? Shoffley hitting a low hook. This is going to be intense. Oh, that was really high. Ah, oh, just laying up. Okay. Word. Word. Need to bluff here. I mean, we have seven high, right? Like, it's a bluff spot. And it works. Pull the nine deuce on the bubble. One shorter stack on our table with a 100 bounty. You're good, dude. A couple hands back. Multi-tabling masters all the things. Love when you break down hands live. Credit you with the, my last three wins on Global. Just really thinking through hands for making a decision. I'm glad to hear it, Scott. Cheers, dude. Keep up the hot run, man. Listen, I like, I like going through hands. I enjoy it, so I'm glad it's helpful. Three bet here. I'm actually going to call. I think three bet's an option, but we just played a big pot against them, so there'll be a dynamic. And then also, we'd have to call an all in from Bruzler if we three bet. They squeeze. We're on the soft bubble now. Seven pay, nine left. Min cash, $250. First place is $13.26. And a decent shot at winning this tournament, so let's make it count. Double bubbles going on. All right, and we're actually going on a quick break after this hand. So when we come back, we've got double bubbles happening in the Super 215 and the 109 Six Max Turbo. Poker Staples on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Enjoy the highlights, and I'll be right back. Stay with me. Decent flop, but again, a flop where we um, 
in position, we get to sort of like play this spot how we want to. Uh, it's a lot easier than the other one, but it's dangerous. It's not a spot where we're really comfortable on the river or even the turn most of the time. They raised an early position. We are five-handed, but yeah. Five of the turn makes us able to continue here, I think, um, in that we pick up a gutter to go along with our overpair. What I don't want to see is a bet of like three million or something, right? But they check. Um, I think we should bet. I think it's a good idea to bet. We're losing a set amount of money against like eights, nines, tens here when we bet. We're getting value from ace five. We're getting value from club draws. Uh, wow. It's a pretty unlucky turn, to be honest. They make the full house there on the turn. Against our sevens. Okay, suited. Good enough to defend against the button open here for sure. Really great board for our range. It's also going to hit them too, though. They have a decent amount of nines that raise on the button, right? Like nine, nine seven suited plus probably, and nine ten offsuit plus. So uh, they have a lot of nines, but we have even more. Uh, they bet pretty small here. To call turn is a queen. Bit of a Tough spot for us if they decide to bet the turn because we have a pair. We have three to a straight. Uh, we have a board that's decent for our range, but we don't have a lot of ways to improve. Uh, and on the river, if we have the ten of spades, it's a check raise, but it's just a check fold, and we lose to ace three, which is too bad. Uh, limp here, king ten, not ahead. We want to jump jam. We could jam like queen x and jack x. Uh, but King-10 is too playable post-flop. It's, like, too strong of a hand. We're just going to jam into, like, King-Jack and King-Queen, and they're not going to go for, like, limp calls with King-6. They're just going to open jam King-6, right? Uh, so we're not actually going to accomplish much by betting ourselves. We bet 400,000 here. We continue getting 3.5 to 1 in position with two overcards uh, and a fine King-High. So this is the sort of hand we'd fold to a double barrel on the turn, right? Um, but we don't need to bluff here with King-10. We definitely can't value that. We just check, check, and hope to get to showdown and win. Uh, with about 400,000, I think we should fold. Um, probably don't beat enough. Uh, we should min raise kings here. It's conceivable we could have a raise fold range. Um, and I'm not going to do this with like tens, right? But with like aces and kings, we're definitely going to get the min raise in here and try and sell a story that we're going to raise fold. Of course, we're not going to. We have kings. A double up would be huge here because it would put big distance between us fifth and fourth place. All right. We bet small. And they're pretty ace -X heavy for flatting free, I'd say. I don't know what else they can really have, honestly. Flatting on the button. Would they have ace-10 or something? I don't know. I have no idea, but we win. Uh, King Jack is going to be a regem here. Flatting is not an option. It's an all or folds. Their opening range is extremely wide. Just a regem and hope they don't call. And if they call, hope we win. We got a flip against fives. King Jack or nine. Come on, let's go. Ship it, Dottie, with the Jack on the end. 11.7. We're back in this thing to win it. Oh, you hate to flip there, but we did it. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker. Brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Uh, Ace-Queen suited is a raise. It's a call of a three-bet jam here. It's a very strong hand. Uh, and it gets a three-bet less than all-in. It's probably a call unless it's... Um, unless it's really big, but still probably a call. All right, here we go. Good luck, chat. Big moment. $900 pay jump here. We're up against kings. Oh! Ace on the flop. It's an ace on the flop. What are you going to do? I mean, listen. 
Yes, it's lucky, but what are you going to do? What do you want me to do? Full ace queen? I'm not going to full ace queen. It's a good point, That's past Jamie. It's a very good point. But current Jamie has some tournament poker to play. Thank you all for being here. Welcome to the stream. Bubble of the Super 215, Bubble of the 109, 6 Max Turbo. Soft Bubble of both. We're two off the money. And then we're in this 215 piece on the side and watching the Masters on the side. <clears throat> because the leaders are entering a men's corner. And this is where, I mean, this is, uh, this is golf magic, basically. So, um, Jalia Ga says, good luck, Jamie. Any plans to play WSOP made event this year? Lots of love for the Philippines. Thank you, my friend. No plans um, for the World Series. But other stuff. Other stuff, though. Cheers. Thank you very much, my friend. Welcome. Thanks for watching. All right. We check back with Ace Deuce off suit against the limp here. The limp, not the limped. Open King 8, they jam. Oof. Now we're on the soft bubble, but this $100 bounty is definitely something. Um, oof. I think we need to call. I think the bounty is a little bit too valuable here, especially with the ability of getting other bounties. Uh, the min cash is 237. But bounties are a decent part of this prize pool. It's for like 13 blinds. I think this is going to be a call. King eight against queens. We don't want to see queens, of course. We'd rather see, you know, ace queen, ace jack, whatever. But still bouts. Can't do it. Ace deuce, bet call, bet call, bet the river. Our two pair. A bird just. Dunked it in the water. And that is the beginning of people falling apart in a men's corner. Let's see what happens. DeChambeau on the 12th. Great shot. Great shot. Home up. Stepping off. All right, pocket nines. This is maybe a bit of a comeback here. Decent hand. Here we go. On the pure bubble now, by the way. We're the shortest stack by a lot, though. 121 is the shortest stack. Nines against Ace Deuce. Please hold nines. Come on now, nines. Hold it. Thank you. Up to 108. Still the shortest stack, but like likely to catch the tournament now, right? Like, there's a bunch of us that'll be really short there. So final two tables, second shortest I think is right here, not Jito on our left, which is fine. Great shot by Homo. Great shot by Homo. He's actually got a birdie putt on 11. 11 may be the toughest hole at Augusta, dude. I mean, sick. 11, 12 are just ruthless. Fleetwood. It's not impossible for Fleetwood. He probably needs three birdies. Three or four. Uh, 
Uh, let's open up the other table as well so that we can uh, we can sweat the bubble. Matty Ice on the other table. Good luck, Matty Benz. I'm going to put him here. Let's not stone bubble both the 320 and the 215, dude. That would be too much. I soft bubbled the 400 last night. The stone bubble, our two biggest buy-ins of the day here, would be not a happy moment. I'll be honest with you. I'd be sad. And let's not stone bubble this one either. That would be sick. Check, check on the queen eye board. It's fine. On the bubble especially, it's fine. They bet the turn. We just call. Uh, induce bluffs. Keep control of the size of the pot. They check value bet. I think so. I think so, yeah. Called by a weak ace or a king queen. No, king queen three bets pre. Maybe queen jack. Weak ace. Weaker. Just barely. All right. So we're in a good spot on the bubble here, though. We're four of eight. Hold ace three. What's up, Kevin Martins? How are you? How's the solar eclipse, dude? It was amazing, man. Totally amazing. Incredible thing to see. I definitely recommend going to the north of Spain if you can. Uh, from the Netherlands. I know it's quite a journey, but you can get there by train. And uh, the next one's in a couple years, I think. It's worth it, dude, to see it. It really is. It's amazing. Huh. Rita Selva, thinking about what to do. My bet's so small on the flop, I don't think they have a seven. I think they check raise. Um, so we basically have the nuts on the turn. Rebecca, thank you for lunch. You're an absolute angel. Dougie, you're just incredible. This looks so delicious, and I'm starved. And this is everything. Thank you, I really will. My goodness, man. A delicious lunch. Just a pasta bolognese. Um, so I think what I'll do is we got sub hype coming in on Twitch. The Northern Effect dropping the 57 month resub. Gets a love of the chat for a long time subscriber. Good luck today, Jamie. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. Love of the chat, you guys, for the northern effect. Thank you. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'll take off the face cam of both these tables, and then I'll switch between them. But just give me a few minutes to eat lunch here, get some energy before we get the FT on this one and uh, in, in the money here, okay? So let me take off the camera. There and there. Have lunch, and I'll be with you all in a few minutes, but... Enjoy the action on both tables.
Final table hype of the 109 Six Max Turbo. Cash for 250 in this small field. I think we had 39 players. First place is going to be 1300 bucks, and we're coming into the final table three of seven. Good luck, us. Also in the pure bubble, and we have a stack that's one and a half blinds deep, so we need to lock up our min cash here. We folded each jack the previous hand in what would have been a profitable shove if we were in the money, but we were not. Shuffler with the very safe play away from the water. There it is on 11. Home with two back, Morikawa four back, Aberg four back, Fleetwood five back. Just like that, everyone has been dropping off, and it's up to Scheffler. How does he play 11, 12, 13, 15, 16? Let's see. Homa, most important tee shot of the day. Pulled. Oh, no. Pulled. That's an impossible chip from there. That is unfortunately impossible. Got to clear over the bunker. Might be a drop for relief up and down for bogey there, honestly. Damn. Uh, Fungal Wizard, what's up, man? I know you hate the Sens, but damn, there was a crazy game last night. Glad the Sens could take the dub, make it nine straight wins against the Habs. I didn't see the game, but it sounds like absolute garbage. Pissed. Terrible. <laughs> I didn't see it, man. Good run vibes from your number one fan. That's from Trinidad. What's up, Drago A on YouTube? Welcome, man. Lunch at 5 p.m. I know, dude. I was up till about 4 last night. Played poker till 2.30. Had to come home. Eat before bed. Uh, so, yeah. Woke up at noon today. It's lunchtime for me. It is lunchtime for me, man. What poker side are you on? This is party poker, Scott Marshall. Party poker. Not the lunch sign would be apropos. True. That's a smart idea, actually. Don't think we want to raise this under the gun when a bunch of people cover our bounty. Tighten up a tick or two there. Yeah, this is a tough break for Homa. Double crossed it a bit. Uh, full DS9. Yeah, fold it on the bubble. Renato is one blind deep. And we fold on our final table here. Comment fait ce jeu? Jeu is player, right? Or play? The way I do, it's cheek. I don't know what that means. Sorry, man. Je ne comprends pas. Je suis désolé. Uh, raise three bet jam. We got a full day's ten, which is sad. Morikawa.
Did Morikawa hit it in the water, dude, on 11? Scheffler has got six feet coming back here. Scheffler has got six feet coming back. We would love a miss to make this a more intense back nine. We really would. We really would. It's kind of what we want, frankly. So we raise get called in two spots with a pretty short stack. You would expect mostly jams on us here. Um, I'm going to go for a small C bet. My thinking being like that every Broadway has just shoved on us, right? King, Queen, King, Jack, King, 10 is just all in already in the small blunt. Uh, Queen, Jack, Queen, 10 is already all in. So it looks like a bad board because it really hits the small blind. But at the same time, all these Broadways should just be all in preflop, which weights them in my head down to like um, suited connector, sort of middling suited sort of hands. And we get a call. Check, check is obvious, I think. And too thin to bet, check, check. And we lose to trip queens. Um, okay, fair enough. Morikawa is putt missed by a mile there. What just happened? Shambo, second shot, iron out of the pine straw. Hooked it left. Okay. It's a possible up and down from there. I've got money on Morikawa, so hurting at the moment. Yeah. It's a. Uh... Ouch. Thank you for lives. No problem. Drew Doyle, and welcome. Wanna open queen eight? I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it here. So with ace eight, especially the bounty, people are gonna call wider, which is a good thing for us with ace eight, right? They're gonna call with more bad hands. They were already calling all the better hands. They're just gonna call more worse hands. No nine. Sweet. Sweet, man. Back up to 58 bands. Anyone having issues sending Bitcoin today? Haven't tried. Haven't tried. What is the Bitcoin price action today as well? I haven't looked. I saw it get crushed yesterday and then recover. And that's still where we're at. All right. Jack seven is going to be a folds. 
not it, but Ace Jack could be it. Renato has chipped back up to 42,000, so I think we are all in on the button here. Um, I just want to see if Renato goes all in or not. They don't, but it's still a jam, so good luck us. We could stone bubble both the 320 and the 215, but I think it's necessary now. It's the second shorter stack with a very strong hand on the button. Um, we ship it, good luck us. We get a reshove in the small blind from not Jito. And I think we are double bubbles. Oh, good fortune. Yeah. All right. We survived. Sweet. 160,000. That's some good luck. Uh, we lost a player. Not a bad steal spot here. We could definitely call Roliero if they go all in. Uh, we'd have to fold the three bets from these two, but then we cover everyone else. I don't mind this as a steal spot. And it's a good hand to steal with with the ace blocker. And it works out. Great. 280 cash. Next spot is 322. First place is 1326. That's what we're going for. And this is the first step, dude. And a beautiful ace king. Ship it, Dottie. Money trees. You got plenty, bro. Get it in there, money trees. Okay. So Homa left it short and has got a putt for bogey here. Twelve claims another victim, frankly. Scheffler bogeyed as well. Bogeyed eleven. Hmm. All right. Deschambeau. Five back needs a birdie here, dude. Needs a birdie on 13. Go. Gonna putt at it. Do you like playing darts, Jamie? Dude, I haven't played darts for a very long time. Like, I was in grade school the last time I tried playing darts, I think. So, no. Probably would like it though, I would guess. You play? All in with the King Queen, Homa for double bogey, and gets it done. T2 right now, but hole 12 claims another victim. Scheffler in the lead by three, but here comes the 12th T. Amen corner. This is a huge moment for Scotty Scheffler. Down there. The bubble continues in the Super 215. Oof. Bit of action on that swing. Oh, he puts it in the middle of the green, dude. That's that's a master's champion. Look, Jamie, thank you, giddy up. Thanks, bro. I'm uh, gonna rejam Ace King here. We are in 
Third place is six. It would suck to bust third, but probably they're just going to fold to the three bet. And uh, we'll keep our spot. We definitely do want to catch some ladders. DeChambeau makes par there on 13. Morikawa, I don't know where he just hit his tee shot, but not ideal. King Deuce is trash. And we continue here, by the way. 40,000 chips for Renato is still the shortest stack. <laughs> Going through the blinds again here in a moment. Pretty sick. Hmm. Allergies are getting me. It makes me want to yawn. It's not, I'm not as tired as it looks. It's just, uh, the throat, you know? You know what I'm saying, chat? I'm playing a tour with 16,000 players left. E a muy difficulto to be so patient. Yeah, man, you got to take it one hand at a time, right? Hand by hand. Hand by hand, moment by moment. Morikawa into the drink on 11. Oh, man. And Homa through the green. Uh, Aberg is minus five on the 13th. Yeah, so three back on the 13th right now. I think currently teeing off, pretty sure. Obviously, I'm on a four minute delay. So when you guys hear this, like you're going to be getting my delayed reactions from, from the broadcast. But... Sir Edwards gets it done. I would typically want to open here, but it's not a great lineup, right? Like the chip leader could just three bet probably their whole range against us here, unless they think we really have a tight race hold. Uh, strat two six against a seven. We just want a ladder here. There's no bounties or anything, so we'd love to get heads up. Uh, there's a deuce. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Yeah, nice. So we're down to five left now. Little pay jump up to three twenty two. Next pay jump up to four hundred. Still two pretty short stacks, then us, then Money Trees, and the Chip Leader. Scheffler minus eight for Birdie on 12 to take a four-stroke lead. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful pace. Home up. 
the 13th. Beautiful driving hole. Blocked it a bit. That's okay. <clears throat> For three, I'd say no. Uh, this opponent is basically, well, they're on, they're all in. Okay, so we're we gonna burst the money. I hope so. But in the meantime, we're all in with eights. I don't think there's enough ICM to not shove here, especially with this opening range. Cool, 374, tied for second. The money bubble has burst. We are in the money chat. 237, and we spin it up from here. It folds to us. We're all in with ace eight. Uh, and we jam here because we cover. Our hand's not great, but we do cover them. So if we get caught, uh, we're still playing for 175 bounty. We're in the money and all the chips. And if we don't, then we get up to 160, which is good. Okay, we continue. You're the man, bro. Thank you, Johnny Wu. Thanks, man. Mission Bitcoin on YouTube says there's no issue sending Bitcoin, at least on chain. Maybe too low a fee chosen. Could have been. Ishaki's queen. We want Ishak to win, but it's not going to. Roll Euro is up to 300,000 now. We need every chip, but we'll take the ladders until then. Scheffler for par gets it done. Three stroke lead going into 12. The pressure he must be feeling, man. But I mean, two time Masters champion makes it a little easier. Sub dude, go Scheffler, says Jonathan Clark. Um, man, pretty sure. Portner had some future where he wins 2.6 if he, uh, 2.6 million if Scheffler wins. There's a lot. It's a chunk of change. King nine on the button. Yep. It's a jam. King nine, a six. Not looking so good. GG in the 215 Bounty Hunter 7 Max. The end of the journey there. All right. Ace 9 is good. We'll rejam or we'll open jam either. Take it. Take it down. Aberg with a great shot here. Is this a... Is he putting for eagle here? Dude, he might have 12 feet for eagle. Damn, that's a nice shot. It's at least for birdie, but I think it's for eagle. Ace-9, king-queen. If the ace-9 holds, we're down to four. It's a $100 jump. And it does. Just like that, we're down to four. We're in second place. Uh, <laughs> gonna fold. The problem, I don't want to jam being in second place out of four. The problem with min raising is it's a raise fold, raise call, raise fold. We're gonna get shoved on by the big line so much. Uh, it's a weird spot, I'm gonna fold. I think shove or fold is the right way to play this hand. And uh, I can live with it, it's okay. That's okay. I didn't see this drive, so I'm glad we got a replay here. Cow at 
actually hitting a cut here, which is wild. All right, Homa. 98 yards for his third. Birdie is pretty important here. Not the distance he wants. Aya. Uh... Why am I never using diamonds to rabbit hunt? I just forget most of the time, dude. Honestly, in my head, like I don't care what was gonna come, just because I, you know, I've seen the royal flush runouts before. I just don't think about it. But sometimes, if I do think about it, I try because I know you guys want to see. Oh, well, what would happen, right? I just forget most of the time, honestly, dude. It's the truth. I just forget. Still in second place, but we're all getting quite short. And a lot can happen, right? Like, we could get a double up from one of these stacks, and it changes everything. I don't think we regen here. It's just, they're going to be about tied with us at this if they win this pot, but we don't have fold equity is the issue. So we'd flip for either fourth or second, which doesn't seem like a good deal. We have moved to this table, by the way. So we are all in with ace-3, suited. Take it down. We've got Matty Ice on our direct left. We're going to fold here. <whistles> Jam. I like it. I like it with the ace four. These two are in the same spot that we were just in, right? Um, and the chip leader isn't going to wake up with better than ace four very often. Homa with the par on 12. Definitely not what he wanted there. We take it down. 300,000 puts us back in a clean second place. But money trees probably jams here. Uh, and then if they fold, we're kind of screwed a bit. Oh, they fold. Cool. No, my brother Matthew. Ace King just lost to Ace Queen, dude. That's sick. GG, Maddie. In the uh, 215. We'll move it to this table, by the way. You can't see it for some reason. Threes against Ace-8. Threes win. And we are down to three left. Five sixty-nine. Next page jumps up to 839. We want to get it down to two, and then we play the heads up. Let's see. Queen seven, queen six, hold it. Hold it. No. Eight or seven. Let me double up. We're tied now. Okay. We're now tied. Ace three, king nine. Come on, king nine. Do it. 
King, queen, or nine, there's the queen. No king. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, third is likely now. <laughs> not for sure, but it's likely. Maybe with, not with sevens. It's probably not likely anymore. Keep it clean, Dottie, please. Please. We're up to 500,000. Piece of cake. Now we're in it to win it. We're in it to win it fully to the jam. Left and over. Huge shot here from Scheffler. 232 to the hole. Is he going for it or laying up? Looks like he's going for it. And he is left side of the green. It's going to make it. Yep. That is... <sighs> That's pretty big. Aberg is, uh, what, one back? A two back. Two back. But, I mean, Scheffler... Really tough to bet against them here. Rolling with the eights. We take it down. 534. We're back in second place. Aberg with the good drive up the left. Beauty. Four nines a fold here. Let's go up to the uh, Super 215. We're 11 to 13. We have Ace Queen on the button. It's going to be our moment. Oh. Aces. Limp. Limp with the aces. Okay. Bet. Take it down. All right. Ace queen, we shove. Good luck. Awkward here with Queen Jack on the stack, but it's a fold, I think. This is a jam all day. It's an all day shove against the money trees. When called, we often have like 35% here, um, but it's still a shove. Of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fleetwood for birdie. That would have been huge. Ace is 10-5. We want a flush. We want a 10-5 winner here uh, to get a heads up. No offense, money trees. It's just true. It's what we want. Oh, it's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. Oh, brutal. I'm in third once again. Good luck from Denmark. Thank you, Christian Aleso Jensen. Also Jensen. Thank you very much. I think we called the all in here likely to be ahead, uh, but they limp. 
Do I jam here? Do I check back? I think it's strong enough to jam in that. I think they're going to limp call some worse kings in this. With like king 10 offsuit, king 9 though, we would just check. Um, yeah. Ship it once again. Oh, sorry. I have a 109 hyper going right now. I'll, I'll add that as well. Might as well. Put it on table six. Here's the new 109 six max hyper bounty. And once again, we pick up a strong hand to shove. Oh, Matty Ice. Dropping the raid on Twitch. Thank you so much, Matt. Appreciate you. Hope you had a good Sunday. Um, You know, I stone bubble the 320. I think you saw that earlier. So we're fighting to scrounge something together, but uh, quite the sesh out there. Doesn't sound good. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome everyone tuning in on Twitch. Uh, if you haven't checked out my brother Matt, make sure you do. He streams on Twitch. Uh, Party Poker Pro. He's my actual brother, of course. We're both poker pros and streamers. So uh, check him out. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you, man. So we are final 12 of the Super 215. We're final three. Of this 109 hyper, and then I just hopped in another 109 knockout here on the side. Uh, I'm also sweating the masters on the side, obviously, because it's uh, exciting. Very exciting uh, golf tournaments. So yeah, that's what's up. Um, uh, jam here or raise? Jam, I think. It just sucks when it goes jam call, but I don't think raise works, really. Uh, we could call here and try and go for the win. Probably not worth it, though. Having double third place... Probably not worth it. Thank you for the good luck, Matty. Scheffler's going to hold it off here, you think, Matt? Uh, this is basically a clickback raise. I think four to one. You should call. Ace four against Ace Deuce. Ace four is gonna double. So we are all. Of it. Oh no, that's a straight. We're heads up. Oh my goodness, let's go. Eight thirty nine. So we're gonna play a little uh, five hundred dollar heads up here, and we're gonna double up first hand with King nine. Look at this. We're gonna take the lead. How easy is that? Did I speak too soon? No. Just get the heads up and then win the heads up. Seems easy enough. Seems easy enough to me. This is not a good flop for sevens, though. We're obviously hoping to induce a jam there. Um, doesn't come in. So we have an under pair on a very scary board, but it's heads up, you know? Like this is an any two card situation for money trees. And in fact, a lot of these are going to just be folded. I'm gonna go for a bet here, which is a bit weird, but I think there's so much King X and Queen X and just random two cards that can catch up really easily or bluff us off our hand 
I like betting. Uh, take it down. We're going on a five-minute break. I don't think I'm going to take it just because, you know, all these tournaments are going to be over within the next hour or so. I'm just going to chill out with you guys on break, and we can chat and watch the Masters on the side. Um, but, yeah, heads up. We're in the lead of this 109. $500 heads up match. In the 215, let me get the other table. Uh, oh, it's here. <laughs> Here's the other table. Uh, we're down to 11 left. And Aberg has a putt on the 14th for birdie to get within two. Wow, he stiffed it, dude. This guy's got some some chops, man. Makes it. Absolutely makes it, dude. Two back of the lead. Putting in an effort against your boy, Chef. He's teeing off on the 14th here. Beautiful drive. Whoo! We got a battle down the stretch. Homa, five back. Jason shot here on 15. Putt for birdie, but Murakawa. I guess got up and down on that last hole. At minus four. It's a nice shot out there. Uh, Aberg killing it, Dottie. There it is. There it is, Paul Savoy. Uh, Savoy. Why do Appena have a pink tag? They did something that I didn't think was very good in the past. And I said, hey, I don't think you have a bunch of experience. Uh, I play with them a lot in like 109s and 215, so they probably have more experience than I assumed. But I don't know. We all misplay hands. People, I'm sure a lot of people have me tagged as like, oh, that was bad. Oh, I can feel the allergies in my face, man. All right. Two minutes till the heads up begins. Not begins, but continues. Chef, we're too clean. I think he is, Matty. I agree with you. I think he's going to win. Playing the main event this year? No, sorry, Bob. Magical Wax. No, not planning to. How about yourself? Are you playing? Shoffley. It's a decent putt, but probably not what he wanted. Xander Shoffley. With uh, some birdies on the back, even par round. Homa with the tee shot on 15. Beautiful. Could cut a bit. Would be helpful. There it is. All 
All right, heads up. They limp, we check with deuce four, and we flop two pair. Look at that. Let's just bet. Let's just bet, dude. You old bet, bet, bet. Take it down. Let's go, Dottie. Come on, Pete Hall. Let's get it done. This is a really big jam. Uh, we're behind. It's a limp is the problem, right? So they don't have 9, 4, 9, 3, 9, deuce. They could have ace, 5, or 5, 6. 4, 3. I think we should call. Uh, five six is the main concern, but like primarily they don't have a bunch of the two pair combos. So, uh, and we win. Thirteen twenty six, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on now, baby. As I was saying, chat. These small fields, they just suit me, dude. Let's go. Nice thirteen twenty six victory there. A pretty interesting tournament, and uh, nice to take it down. We were really short there for a lot of it, but. We stayed patient and uh, made a count. Just like that, dude. It only takes one tournament. You can turn the day around. It's kind of a, like a day saver for us. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything to play here. Nothing sort of high stakes we could fire on the side of, so we'll just keep it with these two. We have a three-way all-in bonanza here. Um, okay, that's interesting. So how many are we down to? We're down to nine. Wow, okay. Well, we're going to have final table hype. Aberg. Oh, this is highlights of Aberg. Okay. Seasonal allergies cooking you already? Yeah, it was really warm for a couple days this week, so the tree pollen. Both Dougie and I, dude. Dougie woke up in the middle of the night last night and was sneezing his face off. And his eye is like kind of closed today. Uh, and I'm just noticing a difference in like my throat and breathing and stuff. It's okay. It's fine. It's It's not unmanageable, but... Definitely pollen season has begun here, man, for sure. Everything's just a bit puffy. All right. You know what it is, chat. <laughs> final table hype of the Super 215. Coming into the final table nine and nine, but don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, chat. We're going to come back. We have no bounties. We late registered the Super 215, but we've cashed for 288, and we're just going to win the tournament. Why not? Why don't we just win like we just did? I think we've seen Tiger's chip take a similar line. This one is going to miss the hole, though. Pretty good shot, though. Pretty good shot. That is birdie set up right there. All right.
Do we defend? I think so. We're at the shortest stack by quite a bit. Being suited. I think it's okay. Uh, the old stop and go with the flop top there. Yup. That's a yup from me, Dottie. Ship it. Just sucks if Sullivan flatted like sevens, which they could have here, but it's okay. Can't say he's queen. Nice. Up to 290, and um, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Ace 10 is pretty good. But we're in a pretty bad stack situation here. Uh, we can probably call this in small blind. I would always fold ace-10 offsuit, but uh, keep turning in for Homa. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, that's going to be tough. Sit. Oh, that's going to be a really tough shot. Does he pitch it and try and stop it on a dime, or does he put it through the first cut? I don't know. And what do I do with ace-10? Ace I mean, this hand kind of sucks, dude, but yeah, we'll call. <sighs> Just We probably have the best hand. I'm sighing because it's a dumb spot on the turn in the river. That's why I'm sighing. Like, obviously, on the flop, we're happy. If it goes check-check, we're happy. If it goes bet the flop, check the turn, we're happy. But there's a lot of scenarios where we're not happy on the river. They bet so small that it's an easy call-flop turn here. Nice. Okay. Scheffler makes birdie on 14, stiffs it. God, is he just absolutely zoned. Oh, wow. Check, check. Okay. Uh, we value bet. And just like that, we're chilling, Bri. We be chilling. Ship it, Dottie. I think that's a vertical. What do you think, Rebecca? You see the video of Neymar? Yeah, dude. I mean, it's good press for poker and it's bad press for poker. It's unfortunate because everyone knows what it's like to be in a tournament and you've got plans in the evening. It's like, oh man, I'm running deep in this tournament. I've been in for four hours. Like, I got to play it on my phone. Uh, you know, I've been playing tournaments on my phone in the Metro on my way to like an event for Friday night, right? Like, you just, oh, I got to finish my tournament, but I got this thing to do. Uh, it happens, but yeah. So it's cool that Neymar loves poker. It's like kind of bad that people think it's degenerate because I don't think it is. It's just, turn you know, you're in a tournament. Is what it is. It's not like a cash game or whatever, but yeah. Ace King is très bien gorgeous. Wow. Raising a jam. Still a rejam. 250 bounties big. It's a big deal. It's like the same as the min cash here. Ace King is good, but I'd fold Ace Queen for sure here. Uh, good luck. Oh, Bryson missed this pot, dude. So sick. Oh, man. Brutal. Tough.
Ace King, Ace King, tens. Okay, let's hit him with a heart for the maximum pain. No diamonds! What? Oh, God. What? Oh, no. Okay. Well, I think we're back to running bad. That's what I'll say. 328 is our, <coughs> is our uh, current cash and probably going to go at an eighth here. Putt needs to slow down from home up. Oh, he's got it. Twenty feet up the hill, not what he wanted, dude. I think that kind of effectively ends this for Homa unless Scheffler puts one in the drink on fifteen or sixteen. Those are the last chances though, I'd say fifteen and sixteen. There needs to be a water stroke in there somewhere for anyone. Except for Aberg to have a chance. I didn't enjoy taking that $800 equity beat that I just took. I didn't like it. Okay, well, I think we're going to be priced in here with our three and a half blinds. Let's go. Good luck, us. Just a queen or a seven and another one. Just one more queen and seven. GG. GG chat, that is a wrap on that one. Uh, 328.27. That day was like break even ish. We won a tournament, which was cool. Um, but we stone bubbled the 320. Yeah, but a break even day. Thank you all so much for watching. I, I appreciate it. Gonna be back on Friday afternoon. Probably some more spins overdrive and the home game, uh, which is exciting. And then next Sunday as well. We have uh, lots going on at Party Poker right now. We have Millions Online coming up, so there's satellites for the main event. Uh, we have the $11 Big Quarter. We have our home game league, which you can play in on Friday. Um, lots happening, so I'd love to have you all there. And yeah, I'm going to be spending some time this week in Montreal playing a live series that's going on around here. Um, so hopefully I win a live tournament. I hope. I'll let you know if I do on Friday, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you. Until Friday, we'll see you later. Goodbye.